We're back. <laughs> Woo! Episode two. Yeah. <laughs> I actually didn't know how to start it off. That was, was kind of awkward, man. You looked around. You looked around. You looked around, I looked awkward. around finger in the I air. I didn't have a thing in my head. Really awkward. We need to come really up with a thing that we say like at the beginning of every episode. But we'll, oh. we'll work on that. Podcast. First one was a great success. Um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think the, it, was good, it was a good time. It was good. A lot of people said they liked it. I'm working on getting this to be on iTunes so it's a little more accessible for people. We'll get to that later. But today, joined by Big Texas, Waddles is back. He's going to be a regular member. Ooh. We have Zuby. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Let me interrupt this before we introduce Tyler. A little Tyler's here, too. I'm here, but you know. The, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm one thing that I love it, so. about Zuby or Kalen right off the bat here. Oh. He is the first YouTuber that I've met whose life isn't perpetual, just fucking stress and just terrible anxiety oh. and depression 24 7. And I love your content and you're great. Oh, thanks. Not saying that yours is Cole. You don't give me that look. <laughs> uh, no, no, but... no, no. I didn't think it like that. It's fine. I mean, that's nice oh. words. Yeah, it is. That was really it's touching. Kind words. No, no, kind no, words. Kalen's fucking awesome. And, if, you know, I know, you know, a lot of people. I just hit myself, <laughs> I just hit myself in the fucking face. But go, go, go check out his content. So, right. yeah, if you guys don't know who Zuby is, he's a fellow Halo YouTuber. He specializes in the older Halo, the Halo 3 content. He's a montager, has some absolutely insane clips and stuff, and he's just a really mm-hmm. cool guy. We became friends just from mutual admiration of each other's content. True. Found out we live a couple hours away. Yeah, as soon as we moved into this house, actually, he was just like, hey, yeah. y'all are close. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, let's, let's hang out. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, it was actually really cool how that turned Because, you know, you hear about those kind of things happening all the time, and then... No, nobody ever really goes through with them, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'll totally is, come hang. Yeah, I, dude, totally. I'll come hang next weekend, dude. Just hit, give me your digits, man. Just give me your digits. <laughs> <laughs> that never happened. Yeah, that's true. Right? I feel bad, because I was supposed to come, like, two weekends ago. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, no, it's, it's all good. Cole was out of town anyway, so it's like, it wouldn't have been a full experience anyway. You're a busy man. Oh, thanks. But what's on the agenda for today, Cole? So, well, the last podcast actually ended with you saying that you wanted to talk about the potential of uploading separate content to channel that isn't Halo. Mm-hmm. And you actually did. You you uploaded a Black Ops 2 video. Yes, I did. I uploaded a Black Ops 2 video, which did way better than expected. I was I uh, thought it did really well. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, I, averaged, I was in that video. I averaged around uh, 600 views a video, and that one hit like 400 and something, I think, or like 300 something, which I was hoping for 200. I'm going to be honest. When I uploaded that, I was like, 200 views, and I'm pretty happy with it. But, uh... On that, real quick, I was hoping for uh, a thousand views on the podcast, the first one, and it got almost three thousand. So I was really happy with that too. Yeah, yeah no, that it, oh, yeah. no, that actually kind of blew my mind when I went back right and I looked at it's it. Two point seven. It's it's 2. I'm 7. pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, because I went back and you know I don't know if this is conceded or not. I was listening to the Jabroni's podcast in the car before I, I went into so. work. I, I listened to it. Like, that's how I've been listening to it in pieces, and uh, you know, I got a more of a connection than a normal viewer, obviously, because I'm with all my friends, right? So it's like. Kind of like a memory thing. You think but, you're better than a viewer because you're sitting at this table right fucking now? Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Uh, Jeez. Sorry, keep going. Sorry. No, I'm joking. That was obviously I'm a joke. Too. But anyway, I was talking about like other content on my channel. Um, I was kind of afraid to do it before I uploaded that Call of Duty video, and I still, I was, you know, as you know, I was going through kind of a content crisis on my channel. Personally, I didn't really talk about it in any of my videos or anything like that. But I was really. It wasn't that I had a lack of inspiration. It was that I had a lack of, I don't know, I guess my drive kind of changed a little bit, right? It wasn't that I didn't want to do it. It was that that I didn't feel like what I was doing would have been to the quality for my audience. So I guess I took that as posting nothing. And then the whole idea about uh, posting other content came to my head. And we started playing Destiny and stuff like that. And, you know, I play Mafia and Destiny and Call of Duty for fun. And I have a lot of good times playing those games. And during those great times sometimes I want to record those and maybe like make highlight reels of them and then put them up on my channel but then I don't know how people are going to take that because I'm a Halo channel so that's rough so it's it's this weird line between making content for Halo but there's also those people who watch my channel because they enjoy my personality so there's this whole interesting dynamic between should I make my content more personal or should I stay with the serum that's kind of gotten me the success that I have found so it's it's just this weird place that I'm in between right now. Yeah, I mean, I know for like me personally, I whenever I my channels first started getting in some traction, it was really centered around the fact that I was making some tip videos, mm-hmm. and they were doing really well. And I knew that like if I kept making tip videos, they I, my channel would keep growing. But I, I had the same idea. Like I wanted my channel to be more personable because I didn't want to just be. You like, not there's any guy. You, there's, want, you want people to look at you and be like, that is cool. They know yeah, who yeah, you yeah. are. They and, don't look at you and be like, oh, that's the guy who taught me how to five shot. Right. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. And and that's yeah, the there's there's anything wrong with that. But also, like, you know, I know you personally, and I know you're not one of those people who wants to do a cookie cutter type channel to where you take the same challenge 
and you do it over and over again with little tiny variants. And that's, you know, I know how you are, you're like a competitive person, and at the same time, you're also a pretty creative person. So, like, yeah, that I mean, coupled together is, you know, is going to make your drive for making videos especially different. You love seeing success. That's where the competitive nature for you comes Yeah, in. absolutely. So that's why, like, the tip video, the, the, the time of your YouTube career where you went from making tip videos to making, like, more personal stuff, which really... One of the big lines of it, uh, to, to kind of reference the video, was the Kingdom Hearts video you made. Yeah. <laughs> that video is glorious, and it does not have the views it deserves, and it is great. And that's an old one for all you Proximity fans out there. Go back there yeah, and I think it, it actually, like, yeah, I think it has like 600 views or yeah. something. Yeah, it does it, have a lot. Is that it, back it, in the breakout? It, yeah, that yeah, was the breakout, breakout grind, That was like the first couple weeks of Halo that's, 5. That's when we were like grinding because they were talking about it being competitive. Like that was your first like video. I was like, okay, if enough people saw this, they would they you, would hit that subscribe what, button. And you, know like, what, you know what makes me really happy is um, the same content. Uh, we made that road trip video when, we're, when we went and got Clay. Mm -hmm. Made the oh, vlog. Yeah. That video got almost 5,000 views. That was just a vlog. And I was like... It's ecstatic to see that because like I love vlogging and I like making like live action content that's not just Halo, you know. Yeah. Obviously, I like playing Halo when I like sweating and trying to get cool clips and stuff. But I also really like trying to make some yeah more creative things. Yeah. It, it, maybe outside of video games, but yeah, like I enjoy that and like to know that. The I was also thinking shit. about that cool. other than just playing you know different video games, making some real life content for my channel. You know, we had a conversation on the way back from that drive. Yeah. Where we dropped off Clay. And this conversation was like three hours long. Where I don't potentially want to make like edgy stuff but i also don't want to make something that's like uh you know dropping i'm gonna drop an apple into some in dry ice water <laughs> and see what fucking happens those channels piss me off a that little was a degree knife on yeah the... because that's just mindless i mean it is interesting and i understand why people click it but at the same time you don't want to you don't want to do that you want i want something... no that's why that's why i stopped doing the tips so much because I don't want people to come to my channel to watch me yeah. cut something with a knife. I they don't want to watch don't, me. You don't want somebody to come into your stream and be like, well, yo, what's up, jump boy? Like, you know, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me some jump, jump pussy. boy. <laughs> yeah. Jump boy. No, I, I agree with, you know, everything that you said. And I think it's a very interesting topic because I can kind of speak to this from a sort of, not as, not as drastic as you, like posting different games, but I'm already pigeonholed. And I know it and I'm fine with it because I'm happy with what I do. But I'm mm -hmm. pigeonholed as a Halo 3 montager and Halo Reach montager. And I know that's pretty much what I am. And <laughs> I, it's cool to see, you know, this group of people do this, uh, like you guys, like the CX guys, doing all this cool stuff where we see your personality. Because I know for a fact, I, I like have been in this mindset for so long that I'm having a hard time bringing my personality to <laughs> like something other than the way I play. So it's very cool. And I, I think it's something you should really, uh, you know, look into and go okay. forward with. Because I mean, it's... People like you guys, and so there's no reason why they wouldn't like you guys. Yeah, well, wouldn't they like me? Video. I'm fucking awesome. That too. Okay. You're, fucking, you're fucking incredible. No, but like, yeah. yeah, I think it's it's kind of like it's an interesting thing where you you look at it as a YouTuber. Is it what do you value more? Do you value like views and the money, or do you value like the actual people admiring your yeah, like your personality, your creativity, your work? Like, I'm work. I'm a I'm a gaming channel, so like mm -hmm. I'm not trying to like I do make creative things, but it's not like everything I make is super creative. Yeah. A lot of it's just like I'm gonna play this, but. I know I could be making more things that could be getting me more yeah. views, but that's not what I want to do. I mean, whenever we're creating content, right, when it comes to, like, editing and stuff like that, uh, obviously you and Tyler are better editors than I am. But I also, like, I try my best. And the, the, the thing that I think that I do that separ separates me from you guys on my channel is the connection that I have with uh, people aspiring in the community and people that don't necessarily get the recognition that they deserve. Like, give give an example. Is the guy from the HCS stream, Doss? What, was not, not Doss. Uh, God, what was his name? The artist guy. Yeah, I'm drawing a blink on his name right now. It's a very strong connection Dallas has. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> if it was me, you would have done the same thing. Don't act like it's you would have It's SSJ4DX something. All right? Oh, he, has okay. a, he has a nightmare of a name. Dude, <laughs> hella talented, though. Oh, yeah, he definitely is. When uh, I saw that, I no, was yeah, like, he is. I thought they had, like, artists in their studio that they had made that for that. Yeah. And then whenever I found out it was actually just a YouTuber, mm -hmm. I was I was baffled. I yeah. was like, why do, why did I not know and about this guy if he's that, a YouTuber? A YouTuber with less than 100 subs. Yeah, that's... And uh, I was like... That's bad. I was like, that is so much effort put in because he was literally drawing, you know, the, I don't know, were you watching? He was, I don't he was, think I was, He no. was drawing the uh, some pros and they were, he was meeting them. 
Oh, but, okay. but he would draw super well, and he'd have like the time lapse of yeah, the whole like, drawing process. Oh, he did time lapse. Like, yeah, yeah, time lapse yeah. of drawing yeah. the pros into memes and stuff. Damn. They were like little caricatures of the pros. Damn, that's actually awesome. And it was yeah. awesome. And he ended up submitting a montage to my mo- right. montage of the month thing, and unbiased, I didn't even know it was him at first. I watched the montage, I was like, oh, that's sick. That's actually a chance to win. And then, you know, I usually pick three of my favorites at the right. end of the month, and then I watch them all one more time to really get my idea of which one I want to pick, and then I... I honestly picked his and then when I went to his channel right because his channel was linked it was right, the link right. thing I didn't recognize his name right. when I went to the channel I realized it was this guy from the HCS cool. stream and I was like wow that's crazy and then I look at his numbers and like I said he had less than 100 and then he sends me an email back like a few days after the montage was pushed. he goes dude you almost got me 200 subscribers and you know and all this mm-hmm. and I got hit in the feels right the there feels. at that moment mm-hmm. and you know so you know that kind of helped that's I don't great. want to get into this right now. It's definitely a good topic to have in a different part, but I think that is a testament to why I don't believe that 343 does any sort of good job supporting content creators, yeah. and they really don't give a lot of incentive for people to promote their game. Um, I don't want to get into that right now. Yeah, no, that, that, that's, 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 a, that's, a, big, that's, that's a, a big topic that for another time. A, yeah, and yeah. I have yeah. a lot of topic. That's episode three shit. Listen, right there. it's not like can, it's not it's not pure shade. Like it's three four three like, does a lot of good things, but they do neglect. It's more no, neglect they, than it is like well, pure just. <laughs> they don't have hatred towards content creators, but they do neglect certain aspects of content creators in their community. You're triggering the hell out of You the want to... <laughs> touching I, his hand. I don't yeah, you see that too. Down. <laughs> like, just, just on paper, I don't, I'm not trying to sound like I'm entitled or anything, but like, if you want me to... like, If I make nothing but Halo content, and my channel's growing, and I'm promoting your content, and I'm promoting your game, wouldn't you want to, you know... Yeah. Pay the help me back out or something? a little bit? Yeah. Especially, and so when, and then I see them help people who hate on the game, and I get nothing, it just, it feels backwards to me. Yeah. So I'll leave it at that for now. We could have, look at that, it's a whole conversation we can have later. Can we explore that for 30 more seconds? We don't have to go to this sure, 30 sure, more sure. seconds. So I, the, I just want to ask this question, and you can each go around and answer. It's like, you both, y'all make, I'm the only one who doesn't produce Halo content here, so this is why I don't know. Do you think that you are responsible for content, like, like copies of Halo being sold? You think somebody went out and bought Halo because I, they yeah, know I am. I, yeah, I, I, I 100 percent believe somebody has played this game. Okay. because well, of I, I don't. Yeah, Halo no, I've had, had, I've had Halo Five because you know Halo Three. I have had right. so many people tell me they they've gotten yeah, the game yeah, because I, of not me, really, so. but well, I had the same experience with MCC. Okay, like I hyped MCC yeah. up a bunch. The, the thing is, like, y- and like I said, it y- it sounds like you're like what, they don't know you anything. Like you don't. It, and like oh, if you're if you're giving them free publicity, then why would they have to feel that need? It bothers me when I see people that have done. Negative things and said negative things, and then and you have somebody that's trying to be positive and does the positive things, and the people that are negative get compensated, and then people like me, what what incentive do I have to keep on? Because for me, that just makes me go, well, if I'm trying to do good, and the people that are doing bad are getting compensated, why do I want to keep making like I, I'll go find something else? See, to play. I try I try not to be too negative, but when I am negative, I'm constructive. Like right, I exactly. have I have an answer for why I'm negative. I'm not negative because like this is trash, this is yeah. awful. It's I have a reason why, and I'll tell you what what I believe needs to be changed. Like the Hackman. Whenever the Eggman had that big come up, right? Mm. He had like he had the best, most like well-rounded Halo channel to me when it came to just speaking about the game. Because he wasn't just like, I hate this. This game's awful. Yeah. He didn't do that. He'd be like, All right, this is my issue. This is what I believe it should be like. This is how everything should be fixed. And it's constructive. Like yes. you need that in the community. Yeah. yeah constructive and- criticism is great. Hearing somebody say, I fucking hate this game. They opened up every single copy of Halo 5 and put a sticky noise so I said, I owe you. I had a cough. Uh, so, <laughs> so we can, we can, we can leave it there, but I want to leave it the, the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, sorry, saying, the... The saying that pretty much defines all these situations is the squeakiest wheel gets the grease. So, that, I mean, that's pretty much answers your question. Transitioning into the next kind topic. Of, yes. <laughs> but tra- we'll talk about that. Yeah, so, that's, that's, that's a good... That's a good that's, yeah, but... I didn't invent it. Okay. Yeah, it, it, to leave it on a better note, if that's all right, because you guys have obviously influenced Halo 5 and people to play the game. Um, obviously, I'm not from Halo 5, but to answer your question, um, I don't know if I personally made anyone buy Halo 3, because Halo 3 is 10 years old at this point, but I can say for a fact that people like Ryan and Tony, Furion and Campy were the reason I got Halo 2 back in the day. That's a, I didn't even think to ask it that way. Okay, that, there's a like 100% the reason. Okay, yeah. yeah. 100% the reason why I started playing the game. I mean, we touched on this in the last podcast, but like esports, I don't even think you should call them esports. Anymore. They're just like it's a sports. It's a it's like the sports world. And like I play like I played baseball because I grew up watching the Atlanta Braves. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like 
Yeah, I think it works the exact same way. You, when you grow up watching, when, when you're young, or young, old, doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. You watch somebody do something. There's, and uh, you want to emulate it in some form or yeah. fashion. So like, yeah, I mean, Campy was definitely that person for Cole and I. Uh, oh yeah, like for sure. Because I remember watching Apex like ninety times. Yeah, yeah. it's almost on its a million. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. legitimately, I legitimately like anytime I like that montage is the reason why I'm here. Like, we're doing what I'm doing. Hundred percent. It's like whenever me and Dallas were watching. When last time we had the big HCS that we were watching, it was uh, Worlds. We were watching that. I found myself constantly like not watching Worlds purely because I would start to watch Worlds and be too excited and want to go play. I would find myself yeah. wanting to play. Watching content makes me want mm-hmm. to do it feeling. because it's so accessible. It's right there. I can just go do it. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Which makes That's another reason why esports is growing so fast. It's, and it's going to become the, like the biggest thing ever. For like, somebody like me who loves like I love like watching professional like like non esports or whatever like it's kind of it's almost depressing in a way because you know that the market is changing so like my kids are going to be into a completely different athletic market than i'm in so it's gonna be, it's just weird because like i can tell my kids like hey look i grew up when this was happening but like you know what I'm saying? my son is going to be so good at fps it's not even going to be funny claw griffin yeah. from age claw griffin four. from the womb yeah straight out like listen this is you pick up the remote Shut up, no no no, 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 hold it. no i don't no, care no. if it doesn't feel good just hold <laughs> like this um in the next topic we have here Kind of an actually interesting transition how we did it, but we were going to talk about asking you, oh, fun, the Halo fun. Three kid, the Halo Kaylin, Three kid. That's right. <laughs> your overall, I don't actually. We really wrote it down as Halo Three in comparison to Halo Five, right? Um, we didn't really kind what? of elaborate. All on right, the topic. let's put it this way, Cole. What do you want to ask me? I don't really know because you're like skirting around your idea. I feel like you were like, I am a Halo Three so, person. Well, but, but I, I can just bring a different perspective to things. Like, okay, not I, a I got a question for you. Yeah, being a person who has played Halo Five, yes. you and Tyler have played Halo Five before, and we had a good time. We did. What keeps you on Halo Three when you could Todd for Halo Five? Um, it's something that you did mm. p- particularly have fun on. Hey, I did have fun in Halo Five. It's really fun playing with you guys, and. uh it was really fun, especially snipers on Haven remake here, and you guys get hype. It was hilarious, um, but I guess the biggest thing it comes down to, if I had to pick one thing, because there's a myriad of factors that go into this, but like if I had to pick one thing, and this is gonna sound really lame, but it's the heart of what every montager does. It's the medals. It is the medals. I agree. They I have it. a huge problem with medals since Halo Four. Yeah, Re- Reach's yep. medal game was on point. Reach's, Reach's medal game is by far point. my favorite. Halo Three medals on point. I, I mean, want, yeah, I agree. I don't like the. I hate three for three medals. I, I, there, there's a, uh, there's a love for the medals. Like I live for the medals, and I know it's really dumb. And some people may not. Well, yeah, but <laughs> you say that because you get it. But some yeah. people may not understand. Like live for the medals. Like if if. Even in a competitive competitive setting, I get the triple kill. I'm one shot. I will 100 percent jump out for the over yeah. every single time. There is oh, no yeah. backing down to live. There is no running yeah. the flag in that instance. I am going for the medal, and that has led me to play Halo Three more, just because the medal game to me is way more satisfying. Yeah, like, when, I get when, that. When I first started playing Halo Five, I got frustrated because like I didn't know when a medal would pop up. Yeah, there was no medal priority, and the and the, the the weird thing is is the these medals have ranks, right? There's mm-hmm. the heroic medals, legendary medals, you know. Uh, I forgot the, the next tier. I, that's all um, you. That's all you. But all these medals have tiers, right? Mm-hmm. Of like rarity to the medals. So like, why not whenever you get that particular medal, the rarest medal comes up first. Agreed. That's the way it should come up. Or or, or dial it back another second and say, why am I getting a medal for the, a, a distraction, for example? Oh yeah. Headshot's fine. You don't need a medal for literally everything you do. Yeah, There's a true. separate medal for getting a, a grenade kill with a frag versus a plasma. You know what they used to be? If you stuck somebody, you got a medal. If you didn't, no grenades give you medals. Exactly. Because why it, do you it, need a medal? At for the that? bottom it says you killed. It, there it's we perfect. go. You li- it literally said perfect. you get a medal for killing somebody. Why? I mean, yeah, you I don't need had, that. I even had a problem with some of Reach's medals. Like they had reload this, and I was like, to me, that's dumb. No, uh, you killed somebody while reloading. I was like, okay, well, am I proud of that? I do not care. Everybody gets a trophy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. And like to me, that's that's one of the factors. I actually had no, a long. But all yeah. the three for three medals look exactly the same. Yeah. No. Like to me, like. Getting, like, a Killionaire to me is, like, the most pulse-pounding, heart, like... I get a feeling I can't describe. Right. Like, probably not in, like, family And family you terms. don't want that that, that Nair medal to be pink, do no, you? No, I don't, yeah. I don't want it to be pink. <laughs> yeah, I don't like, want it to come after a Combat Evolved <laughs> or, like, a... I don't even know any of the other. Okay, medals. back in the combat the Halo evolve four into days. a nair. I need to see it right now. Well, okay, right? okay. <laughs> Wrong metal example, but back yes. in the Halo four days, it was just a line of blue medals. Oh my Dude, god! Like, I brought you some blue. <laughs> that's so <laughs> that's frustrating. 
Oh my yeah, god. So it used to be like there used to be a handful of medals for killing sprees. So every five kills without dying, you got a medal mm-hmm. up yep. until thirty in Halo Three. Um, yep. <laughs> and it was like just please stop. And just then there stop. was yeah. there was a sniper headshot. Yep. There was multi kills. There was an extermination. Kills. Perfection. Beat down assassination. Beat down assassination. That's it. That's I'm fine it. with like simultaneous and cluster locks. Neither of those bother me. Actually, a cluster lock coming up is helpful because I will know when I get a kill with a nade. But if I see cluster lock, I'm like, oh, two dead. Like as a competitive sense, that's actually very useful to have. But like simultaneous and stuff like that, people just love those. I mean, you know, I don't see. There's nothing wrong with like fine, but no, special ones, like but, Comet Evolved. But you, like, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I don't yeah. want a headshot medal. You can tell me how many headshots I had at the end of the game. That's fine. I don't need a medal for that. Yeah, yeah but snipe, the Snipe Tanius medal also. This is just a little gripe for the Snipe Tanius medal. It takes too long. He goes Snipe Tanius, and it's just so long. That, that's another thing. Like, I I'd rather just have a little sounds. kid in the background and go Claral, and then it's just be done. <laughs> I live for that. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> I live for the sounds. It's a good thing you bring that up. I live for the sounds too, and I feel like in addition to medals, Halo Five and Halo Four, all the past games have had like a lot of those, like a lot of unnecessary sayings and sounds. Like I already got frustrated enough when I was playing Big like Halo Three and Reach, and I would hear Hilt contested, Hilt yeah, controlled. Yeah. I was like, I don't care about that <laughs> at all. I mean, I know what's supposed to be in there, but like when those I clips are in my I'll videos, honest, the, the flag I dropped. That. I can't I, stand it. Oh, I I literally remove the audio and put in all my no, audio I, and all I'm, my videos. I'm, I'm not with, see, I'm not with, flag I drop, flag taking, Halo 3, Reach days. I hate it. Well, okay, no, I, I agree, but like, I can't, like, could not stand it. I understand why it's in there, but, like, as someone who only goes for, like, style, it's so frustrating to hear. Oh, yeah. Because I had to take all the audio off, sync all the shots, yeah. sync all the enemy shots. Real quick, That's though, interesting while we are griping, perspective of Halo players. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about something real fast, though. While we're griping, I think we can all agree the best thing about Halo 5 is the introduction and the inclusion of perfect metals. Oh, Yo, man. Yeah, yeah that's oh, fair. Yeah. It, it's, fair. <laughs> it's awesome. It's it, unbeatable. That's fair. It, it literally doesn't matter if somebody's walking a straight line at me or if they're straight as hard as they can. It Every single good. time I hear that perfect and I see that little yellow metal pop up, I it, agree with that. I love it. I get one-tenth of a chub, and if I get ten in a game, I'm full. <laughs> I'm, I'm there. I'm torched. That's a great way to put it. <laughs> I, I lo- it's it's great. It It's such a good feeling. I love it. Um, Now I got another question for you, though. Ask so, me. Halo 3 Kid. Yes. Do you feel, let me ask you, uh, now you're not going to speak for everybody here obviously, but you can speak for yourself. Okay. How do you feel about Halo 5 in terms of skill? Mm. What do you think like, so, okay. now let's, let's think about the modern, set, we, we can all agree the ARs reduce skill gap dramatically, yep. and the radars, but let's say about the current HCS settings, which I know okay. you haven't probably played yet, nope. but you only show up on radar if you sprint or use Spartan abilities, so if you thrust, nice. sprint, okay. stabilize ground pound, Spartan charge. Otherwise, no red arrow doesn't work, and you only have your magnum. Okay. In comparison to Halo Three. In comparison to Halo Three, my opinion is that whew, this is a hard one to like explain because like, especially lately, they've been making a lot of changes to make Halo Five more competitive. I will give it in timelines because I don't know how else to. When the first game first came out, competitive settings were a joke. I cannot believe that I had to focus on the fact that there was a storm rifle on the map. And like to me, that was so frustrating. No, you had to spawn and look for an auto. It was terrible. Yeah, it, it was. I agree. It was horrible. I hated it. Now it's getting better. I mm-hmm. agree. I think that there are still some aspects of the game that will forever be broken. For example, the Spartan abilities. I, I think that ground pound and Spartan charge are ridiculous and should never be existing. I don't know if they're in the current settings or not. They or, are. They, yes. they are. I don't think that should be a part of it. I think that the best way to um, showcase skill would be in a one-on-one setting where no one has any advantage to the other person. In that case, I would say Halo 3 I think is a little bit more competitive, but I feel like Halo 5 has made great strides into becoming that competitive game. Do I think it's 100% yet, there yet? No. Now, the top players, they're incredibly skilled, and they're going to be incredibly skilled, but I feel like between like middle tier to top tier, it's not the best showcase of skill, in my opinion. Like the top, it comes you, down to meta knowledge at that point. Which, it, if you hit like a medium and player versus a pro player, like the shot is going to be different. The pro is going to have a little right. bit better shot, but the meta knowledge is like it's like leagues, yeah, yeah different. Like, like there's so many people that can just quote unquote compete. Right, right. And I think just like as much as I, I think the hit movement in Halo Five is great. Yeah, I would say I movement's it's a whole other skill that in Halo Five that's really like. Yep. Like, movement is an aspect in other Halos, but it's not like it's been... Exactly. In Halo, in Halo 5, 5 like, it's... I would say it's on steroids. Like, yeah, it's movement it, it, on like, steroids. I, no, I some can, players are straight up like, I'm better because I have better movement yep. than yeah, you. I could it's be crazy. jabbed at for this. It's fine. But if I get on Halo 3 or any other past Halos, following a strafe 
it is not hard at all. It's, it's so easy. That's fair. Like now, you've had to deal with like, thrusters and stuff. Yeah, like following a straight. That doesn't mean hitting them is the same because Halo Three is a project like projectile yeah. based. Lower aim assist. Like it's, it's hard. It's hard to shoot at that. But like following where they're going, knowing where they're going is not something I'm it's, really worried about. It's laughably easy. Yeah, but like that's only that, that's, that's only because we've gone so far advanced and going backwards. Yeah, right. Yeah. But yeah. Right. Because in you can't crouch strafe in Halo Three. You it's left right jump. That's it. Yep. And, yep. And that's why, it, and it comes, yeah, the projectile, but that's why uh, people ask me sometimes about uh, hit scan versus projectile, right. and I say, like, there's no way projectile would work in Halo 5. It just wouldn't work. No, I agree. They're, they're, they're moving too fast. Yeah. yeah, you have to have hit scan. Yeah, no. yeah. And, and Unless the projectile was literally bullet speed. Like, it'd have to be bullet speed. Yeah, projectile. because it, it's... Like, basically hit scan. <laughs> So I say if it's if it's if it's regular movement, if it's not advanced movement, I think it should be projectile because I personally think that provides the biggest skill gap. Like uh, the the big skill skill gap in Halo 2 Classic, the regular just shooting mechanics of the game are very very easy. Mm-hmm. It's very easy to shoot. It's yep. n- but the skill comes into the button combinations with the BXR and the double shot and you know yep. everything like that. And that wasn't intended, of course, but people found that out, and that's where there's a huge spectrum of a skill gap in that game. So that's fine. It works. It, it, it works itself out. So right. there's there's regular movement, but there's the button combos. So when you compromise the Halo 3, it's regular movement, no button combos, but it's projectile. So I think you have to have one or the other. I would prefer to just have projectile because I really like that. Um, I think if they, if Halo 3 were to, H3A were to happen, uh, or I don't know, maybe Halo, I don't think they're going to go back. Imagine Halo but, Reach off launch with no bloom. It would have been projectile. amazing. Projectile. would have been amazing. Halo Reach actually was projectile. Isn't that interesting? It's very, very fast. Okay, then full speed. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah, it is projectile, though. I, I still stand by, I think, once No Gloom is introduced to Reach, that's one of the most fun games. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Reach V7. I think we said yeah. this in the last podcast. Yeah, V7 Reach is so, like, So I guess to answer like, your question, I would consider them, skill-wise, to be essentially the same. I think a lot of the... In addition to movement and shooting and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, I think All more, things considered. I think more of the skill in Halo 5 comes from situational knowledge i agree i think that's like the big difference Halo three is when like when you're good raw you're individual really skill. good raw yeah. individual how yeah. how well do you shoot right yeah. exactly i think that's it and i think in halo 5 like especially i know they're getting rid of autos but that was a huge meta that as a halo 3 player i couldn't get i couldn't understand i couldn't understand what assault rifle to pick up on the map when because i wasn't used to having one so that that's a meta that i think is really coming to its own and with the limited weapons they have in the new settings i think it's going to be a great meta to have but I think it's just different types of skill. Like, sure, gun skill is very important in all of them, but I think one-on-one mentally Halo 3 is a little bit different than one-on-one mentally Halo 5, and okay. it's hard to compare those two exactly. Yeah, which is I, I think that's a very it's good like, answer, I agree. Um, nice. Like, bolt shot game is strong. On the Real quick, I'm going to rewind for just a second. On the statement that the, the Halo Reach hits can, I heard that from Seth. I feel like there's going to be some people like, you're an idiot. In case that is wrong, I apologize. I believe he, he he's reading some article about it to me, so that's why I heard it. I just feel like I need to say it because my commenters are relentless. Um, <laughs> it's, it's it's true, it's true. It's you a love good them, thing. No, it means they're engaged. Exactly. They're, Don't worry. The comments it means they're, they're actually he there. paused the video. <laughs> he already wrote. The, he already wrote the comment. Um, he, goes, he, he he like he. Hey he wrote, hey Jeff, listen here. You go delete that comment. <laughs> no no he's not because he he goes. I'm not I'm not deleting. He's it. doubling like, down now. Yeah. He's doubling down. Yeah. Um, so did we, that answer everyone's question? Right. Yeah, but there, if, if there is a dude named Jeff who wrote that kind of comment, you know he's going to be freaked out. Yeah, I want to <laughs> move from there to politics, <laughs> and I want to talk about why one side is terrible. No, we're not Ooh, doing that. <laughs> big topic. We're not talking oh, about... Man. Let's talk about the results of the election. And, yeah. <laughs> nope. Um, That's dangerous. Gross. That's gross. <laughs> no. So, Any other questions about Halo 3, Halo 5, while we're at it, before I close the book on this? I, can I, I don't... We don't know each other very well. We just met like... I wouldn't say that. I say we just met. Yeah, we okay. know each other, we know each other pretty well. well. We've, yeah. we've learned some, some things. We're, no, we're, uh, we're, we're best <laughs> friends already. No, it's no, fine. They went no, missing for like 30 like, minutes. I don't know what no, happened, like, but they came back a little bit I, like woozy. <laughs> come on, man. No, I remember so like, I remember hearing about like you sticking to Halo 3 a long time ago. And like, I don't know. It's just it's, it's coming from like looking at it from the outside, like looking in. Like, I think it's super cool that you like literally found a game that you really like and a new game came out and you're like, nope, the game mm-hmm. I like's better and I'm sticking to it. And you stuck to it. I think that's really cool. Like there was oh, no, there's no like I have to conform because that's where the people are. You're like I'm still doing this, and I, I, I think it's really cool. I respect it. I agree. I absolutely respect it, and yeah. it's, it, it's it's I I hate. I'm gonna cry. Look, you love you love a game, and a new one comes out, you don't like it, so don't play it. That's fine. Yeah. I what, and that's fine. And if you don't like it, it's fine. You can say it's a bad game. I don't like it. I don't care. 
What I don't like is your is like not yours, but the Halo. A large part of the Halo community has this internal desire to let everybody that that let everybody knows let let everybody know that plays Halo Five that they're stupid for liking it. Basically, like it's like it eats at them the inside if if people are having fun on a game that you don't like. It's like yes. just who cares? It's just dumb. let them. Yeah, I, I, I spoke for a moment about why I enjoyed the new HCS settings, but then I'm told like why I should still be hating this game now because the maps are awful it's not a projectile based weapon um there's still you know brs to be picked up around the map uh stuff mm-hmm. like that there's pickups like oh, no, i, I can't I enjoy will, anything i will apparently. say that halo 5 as it stands now is a very hard game to play by yourself oh yeah no this as it stands right now yeah at least i'm <laughs> i'm talking about myself and i know you two as well yeah I mean, we get our our enjoyment out of playing hcs i can play wars of assault you know for like 30 minutes and then i I, you know, I'm looking for six feet of rope, and then, so, when it comes down to like, what do you plan to do with that six feet of rope? No, we're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> we're moving on. Oh boy! And now yeah, no, no, yeah, playing with politics. a group. Seems like better. I said, I was saying, playing with a group is a lot more enjoyable in Halo Five. So, the kind of segueing on to like a rumor that I've heard, and I was told this rumor. I thought this was confirmed earlier today, but apparently it's a rumor. Apparently. Rumored again. I'm gonna emphasize rumored. Is it a rumor, Dallas? Yeah, it's a rumor. Okay. okay. Did you know it was a rumor, Jesse? I, did you know it was a rumor, Tyler? I'm not. Cole, quite did you sure. know that this was a rumor? Is it confirmed? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's that FFA might be getting the HCS settings, and if that's if that's a fact, then I'm gonna love playing Halo Five on myself again. Yeah, because well, they have confirmed that they're running the HCS settings for FFA at the Daytona Land. Yeah, right and now. that's next weekend, right? It would be logical for them to just implement those settings, which they are themselves saying this is more competitive. Mm-hmm. It'd be logical for them to implement that in a matchmaking. Or they could just keep normal FFA there because you know there's those kids who think AR takes skill. HCS FFA and then uh, HCS FFA easy yep. ones. How? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing that I don't like about it. That's a quick answer for a lot of people is to make another playlist. Our population is not that big. It's a good then, size. then you get rid but, of breakout because like less than 500 people play. That well, shit. I have a. You can't do that. I've had enough well, you issues could, because trying... apparently I don't care if people like a playlist or not. Shoddy snipers. <clears throat> I literally have played so little Halo because shoddy snipers. I mean, for somebody like me who only plays like if there's music in the background or if I'm on Skype talking to y'all, and I don't play anymore. I don't play if I'm by myself anymore because I just don't care. I don't. Yeah. I don't. There's no shoddy snipers. What do I do? Shoddy snipers was a golden era for social. But I so, was going to go somewhere else. I was going to go exactly where you were, and I want to let you finish because I want to know. I wish we had all the data in front of us. Yeah, I wish. Playlist. I wish it was kind of like Reach, how I had the number, like yeah. players online. The, th- the thing I, is, is like I had enough issues trying to find a game in FFA when there's just one. If I get a second one and high tier people are all playing HCS normal four v four, then I have nobody to face in FFA because in FFA I hit like. I don't know, champs something or the other, something or the other. I didn't get, you know, I didn't get too high, but like, I couldn't find a game. Even when I was just a low tier Onyx, like an Onyx nineteen hundred, I was having difficulties finding games. I would be sitting there for over fifteen minutes. I know Cole sat there one time trying to record a video for how long? What was it, hour and a half? You kept searching and kept searching and did not find a game. If we split that into two, I don't know how it's gonna go. I think genuinely, I think that's why Shotty Snipers was taken away. The population was too high. That's what I believe. I, I, like, I disagree with that on a philosophical standpoint. Too many people are enjoying this. Exactly. Like, oh, no, that's I, not, not what they said, though, but that's what happened. No, so here, I'm not trying to, like, throw stones at, like, 343. I'm just saying, Four like, seven. so if you claim that it's playlist numbers and, the like, the community agrees that it's really played, so you're assuming that it's too high, like, I just don't see how you're, then, you argue the success of one playlist is hurting the overall because game. Because all 343 told us when they took the playlist away, it, there was a percentage issue. They didn't give us the percentages. Okay, we don't so, know the information. So, so the only thing we can take by that is, is just kind of like looking at it ourselves and the way that we know and learning like learning what we know from the commu- the world of, word of mouth from the community. So if we all three of us made videos about Shoddy Snipers being gone and literally every single person in the comments says, yeah, why did I take that away? That was my favorite playlist. And we literally have hundreds of these comments on our videos. And then you have these other people in the community that do the same thing, and they're getting the same kind of comments. What is that going to make you think whenever you weren't given the information about Shoddy Snipers? That's going to make you think that so many people are playing it, that 343 got their dicks up their ass, they got butthurt that nobody's playing their other maps, so they decided to go and make other people play these plays that, that nobody wants to play, and that's why the Halo community is slowly decreasing. I, I don't I, know if it was that. I don't know if that was the motive. It just doesn't seem to me like... So you can make your qualms about like... A 343 is like a company and like how they operate and stuff but at the end of the day they're, they, they want to make money it's not about how many people are enjoying it or about how many people are 
um, enjoying the playlist that they originally made. It's we need to sell mm -hmm. copies and we need, and the way you sell copies and the way you secure finances to make Halo 6 or Halo 3 Anniversary, whatever game they're making next, mm -hmm. is to point at the business people and say, this is how many people are currently playing and enjoying the game. So that number, that current like population community is like, that's got to be the driving force, right? So like, mm, well, like, that could it's got to be. Well, it could be like, okay, it say, should be, say, should be. Just say, yeah. fundamentally, like, say thirty percent of all the people in social are playing shoddy snipers, and I think that's a very realistic number. Just, like, yeah, okay, with, so out of fact. what was it, like six, like six or seven playlists yeah. in social, uh -huh. and like thirty percent are sitting in so in shoddy snipers. You see it like that, and then triple team was also taken away, which was for me my those, those were my are, top those two. Are my two yeah. Those are the only two playlists I ever played that were not ranked, and the thing about that is. All the other playlists would have to accumulate more people, like all, all other four, say there's six, would have to accumulate more people than those two combined. So one set, say one has 30, one has 15. Those numbers were too high for them. If because those numbers are too high, you split those amongst all the other ones. Now they have an even population where everybody's able to find games. I think it came down to matchmaking not being able to actually find the games. They were so, but the amount of people that you displease by taking away those two playlists does it offset the amount of people that you please because they're now all of a sudden be able to find a game in yeah. Action Sack or whatever. That's what that, if it's, that's if, the only like that's the only thing I can if it, think of. If it that's satisfies the, more people, if it satisfies more people, then I have to go with the hard like three four three made the right call. If it satisfies more people, yeah, I, it hurt me. I miss those playlists, but exactly like you, that number of like this but, is how many people are currently playing and buying the game, like actively. This many people are interested in buying the next Halo. Then yeah, then they, they have to do everything to support that number. And if taking shoddy snipes away makes that number bigger, then it ultimately helps Halo Six. Because they're going to secure more money to dump into the game. But I highly doubt realistically that that's the case. I don't think so. I don't think taking away two super popular playlists make the game more fun. It doesn't make any sense to me. See, yeah. I, that's the only way I can rationalize it, though. Like, give me a real rational reason why they did it. Okay, well, yeah, I'm yeah, with yeah. it. But this just, is, this is the only answer is, I have. You, that's you, the only thing I got. You leave right. us to draw our own conclusions, and I just immediately assume that they they just don't give a shit. Because if you don't, yeah, if you don't give me a good reason. What else am I to think? Yeah, like I said, rational. Yeah, <laughs> give yes. me a rational. Give me, a, give me, a, yeah, give me an Would you accuse them of being asleep at the wheel then? I like, think they'd be. I think we can accuse them of being selective with communication of information. I think, or just straight and, ignorant. And, well, yeah, so, that's a no, nice. No, it's a bad. I, 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 I think no. I think really nicely, but. <laughs> I, <laughs> three for three has made multiple efforts in uh, taking down the montaging community. Oh yeah. And really? that, yeah. Oh times. yeah! Oh yeah! I'm I feeling, didn't know that I'm that was feeling hardcore. Yeah, no. I started yeah. off. My Halo channel started off no, as montaging, and they, I would, they feel like, very apathetic towards certain parts of the community. And the montagers love Shotty Snipes. It's everybody has to have a trophy thing. These kids can't feel like they're getting pushed into the dirt because you know yeah. everybody's got to feel nice nowadays. Yeah. It's like teabagging in Halo Three it used to be just something that everybody did. And everyone was like, "Oh, look at that! He's teabagging them." And now you teabag somebody, and God forbid you didn't just you know assault that person in real life. Right, everybody's. We don't need to get into all sensitive. that. But Tyler, when you play Shotty Snipers, why did you like playing it? Why I love playing it? Uh, because I was clip hunting, and I would like hitting clips. Yes, that's yeah. all yeah. I did. They it don't was so like much you fun, hitting clips. and they I had fun doing it. They don't like us hitting clips because when you hit clips, ninety percent of the time, unless you're playing a competitive you're game ignoring playlist. The Playlist, like yeah. If you're not, unless okay. you're playing a competitive playlist, you're literally just taking a huge steaming dump on the brand new people who bought the game who don't know how to play. Or you're avoiding playing the objective and therefore not playing the game that properly. Yeah. So, so here's the thing, though. So, like, I don't. I'm just trying to think of it. Like, I'm trying to squeeze that idealism. I'm trying to squeeze that into like any other like like activity. That's like saying like, well, like if you're not gonna bowl and try to knock down all the pins, then you can't pay money and bowl here. It's like screw that. You, if I'm paying money to play your game. And this is what the community, all, if it's the collective, this is what we all want to do. You should like, be able to put up bumpers. Like, yeah, like, whatever. Back and forth. But yeah, no, I, like, I, don't, I shouldn't have to be, you know, gay tall just to well, have the bumpers. The I problem, want the bumpers because I, I want the bumpers. We don't have to go about bumpers. Halo, <laughs> Halo 3 itself had a system for that. The, remember the, the recruit playlist or whatever it was called? Oh, yeah, the recruit playlist. Yeah, yeah. it was a uh, uh, boot camp. Boot camp, boot camp, boot yep. camp. yeah. And then, like, Mount Hunters wouldn't even montage on boot camp that's because there were no power weapons. Yeah, there were no power weapons, and it was just training. And that's, if you're bad at the game, Go fucking play boot camp. So like well, they should they should that. do that. Well, at certain rank you couldn't play it anyway. Yeah, yeah. After it certain was rank it was intended for new it, for new. And that's new. why when you made new kit, there were there were no power weapons because yeah. they didn't want you to be yeah. montaging it. No, but so but I want to talk about this for a second. One of the biggest problems on Halo Five launch was that they had Warzone. They had ranked. Nothing was social. So montagers who obviously have this internal desire to montage this brand new game, um, 
you know, they can grow their channels. We're getting into the smurfing, aren't we? Smurfing. Yes. So, yeah. for those who aren't familiar, smurfing is when you intentionally... Okay, you can playing... Those little hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me be very <laughs> explicit here. Comment section, this pisses me off. If I'm playing on an account that is not my main account, but I'm trying, I'm not smurfing. That's just using another account. Do you, do you want me to take the That's definition to make of smurfing? Because I can feel else. you getting angry as you're trying to yes. explain it. So, like. smurfing is, <laughs> a, uh, is a relatively new term. It only yeah. came around in Halo 5 for anyone who hasn't. Yeah, but it's been around in the really? PC world. It's for been a around in the PC time. world, yeah. Ah. It oh, was yeah, normally called just new it was normally called it, it was a big thing in Counter-Strike. It's normally just called new accounting. Yeah, like, like all, making a new yeah, account. alt accounting. Alt yeah. accounting, yeah. So what smurfing is is you make a account with a with that is not your main account and you do nothing but tank the first few games. Meaning you lose every game by the most incredible margin you possibly can. So that way you get placed with people who are not to your skill level. I do that now, except for I'm trying to win. No, <laughs> see, you're halfway to smurfing. So, right. Um, so, right, you you basically you trick the game into thinking that you're new or novice at the game, so they place you with other novice players. So then, when you actually try, you have a very easy time hitting clips. Now, that is understandably an issue because mm -hmm. for people that are fresh out of GameStop, trying to get into Halo Five, they pick up the game, they start playing, they're getting steamrolled, yep. and they don't want to play because it's not fun. I get it. I completely understand why that breaks the matchmaking system. I understand why they don't like smurfing. I am on board with that logic. Here is the problem. Or here's the solution. The easy solution is you create a social side of the game. Purely social. Purely social. Right, yeah. Purely social. Well, you, can, you, you can go by, like, level, like, yeah. experience into that's it. Why it but in. don't give me, like... That never even occurred to me. It, that's why it works You can go by level people who have played yeah. it a lot. I'm fine with that. That's like, how it works in Halo 3 and yep. Halo Reach. It's experience-based. And Call of Duty. Not ranked that's all I yeah, yeah. Call of Duty It makes sense. So that's what you do, and it's an easy solution. But instead of doing that, what, what happened was, for the long time, they didn't give a social. And so... Like, even when BTB first came out? BTB was a... Uh, BTB yeah, was ranked. ranked. So, they so so they didn't give a social, and a lot of people started... Or it, with the, with the Xbox One, you can make as many free accounts as you want. And so people started making new accounts, and um, they started smurfing. So then what they would do is they start banning people for smurfing, and then they would just make a new account and go on and go on and go on. Then they started console banning people. Yeah, people were getting console banned because there was no social. I didn't, that's know, like, I didn't know that was a thing. A to B. They were straight up, your console cannot play this game for, it can't access Xbox Live for a week. That's hilarious. Oh, I know. It's, like that, that's hilarious. And now that you mentioned no, that, I totally funny. forgot, but that's also one of the reasons why I went back to Halo 3, is because I'm a montager, and I was like, I'm going to have fun playing this new game, making all these new videos. And like you said, if I want to bold bumpers, I should be allowed to. I paid, yeah. I paid full price. Now, going back... Um, well, the bowling example sucks because, like, that's like saying, like, I, not only do I want bumpers, I want to play in your lane. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I, the, bu the bowling example is broken, but, like... No, that's a pretty good example. You don't have to play in your lane. Well, I mean, it's like... Well, it's like, okay, let's say you're playing golf and you just want to putt because you like putting. And, you, and you, everybody else is pissed because you're holding back because you're putting instead of, you know... No, that makes sense. Good job. Or, yeah, well, it would, I guess, like, philosophically... It doesn't matter. We get it. I thought, uh, on a golf tangent. <laughs> but I guess not. <laughs> so, it's probably a good thing we stopped So what I'm saying is probably. that 343, instead of providing a platform for montagers to, you know, have fun and stuff, they just killed that part of the community, which is a huge form of promotion, and montaging has been a big part of Halo forever. Oh, yeah. And yeah. they shut it down. They basically just shut it down. So then later, they come up with social, they came up with Shotty Snipes, and... Lo and behold, people start playing the game in because yeah. it's fun. There was stuff to do. I saw so many montages. Like when Shotty Snipers was out, I hit so many clips, and I saw so many people just linking me clips, sending me stuff that they wanted me to see. People who are aspiring to make montages. People yeah. who are trying to make more content. More I mean, content was, means more like people seeing the content. I and was trying to make a Shotty Snipers montage. My most recent montage of the month was a rip Shotty Snipers montage. This guy just took all of his old Shotty Snipers clips and made a rip montage because he misses the playlist so much. And mm -hmm. actually won and uh, like. I actually didn't mind getting world star either because you knew if you knew somebody pulled off something and you knew you just got clipped, you're like, well, well you know. You know what was the See, I was never scared of being clipped. You know what was the coolest thing about Shadow Sniper is it was uh, it was actually fun, and um, <laughs> they got rid of that, and that sucks. So <laughs> we should move into the next part. Yeah, this, this could take up an entire. Like, I, 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 several I'm hours. prepared to break into tears if we need to. Like right now, I'm I'm halfway there. Let's let's uh let's go forward and we cannot. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, but. So, here at the table, my man Jesse here. Hey, Jesse, who is uh, Waddles, right? Yeah. And he will Waddles. be a regular on the on the series, which is great. Uh, he's just moved back to town because he has just graduated from college, which is great. Ooh, uh, bachelor's degree. Congratulations! <laughs> Woo! Let's go! So, uh, also, Kalen's in here is currently studying in Atlanta, so he's a couple ah. hours away. Um, and, uh, <laughs> so, that's fine. I get about half. That's fair. That's so, fair. so wait, you're in school like 5%. though. But yeah. so, my point, so, so what we were talking about. So now Tyler, Dallas, and myself, none of us 
are currently in college and none of us have completed college, we thought it'd be interesting to talk about our points of view at the table of going to college or not going to college. So you have me right now who is, my, my primary source of income is gaming, streaming, and YouTube. Uh, that's what I do. Uh, Dallas works part-time and also gets revenue from gaming. And Tyler works full-time and also gets revenue from gaming. Um, so none of us have a college degree. None of us have, uh, you know, they both have entry-level jobs and I'm just making money. Like I just stepped away from my job and that's what, so just perspective from people that aren't doing the more formal path or the more, uh, Traditional path. Sure, more traditional path yeah. than the most like socially acceptable thing. You know. I Definitely, what see, you would agree uh, okay. is probably the you most just imagine intelligent the most, path to take. The most wrenched up grandmother face. That's the face I always get when I'm like, yeah, I want to do YouTube. That's what I get. Doesn't <laughs> matter if it's my grandma. Doesn't matter if it's like a 13 year old girl. That's the face I so get. So just we want to talk about the logistics of it, the pros and cons, whether or not we think it's just an overall good idea, is it worth the risk, things of that nature. So from coming from somebody who just graduated, right? Um, I. I say that like all of a sudden, like being a graduate for two days gives me like authority. So, yeah. So, you know, but like, so the way I like to look at it is nothing in life is a sure thing, right? So going to college doesn't immediately get you a profession where in which you're going to make a lot of money. I'm gonna, It probably makes you a little more predisposed to get a job or two, but like, it's still like, what's the catchphrase? It's always like, everything's only what you make it or you put out, you get what you like, you, you get out of what you sell. Yeah. You reap what you sell. Yeah. Reap what oh, you sell. Like, or you, or yeah. you make in the, you lie in the bed you make or something. Like, I don't know. Yeah, all those yeah, cheesy yeah. things. So like going to college doesn't make you all of a sudden this like glorified, like intelligent person. Like don't go to college. If you feel like you have to go to college because you're passionate about something you study in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That being said, though, like, they're, like it or not, they're societal, like, the grandma faces that Tyler was talking about, like, he wants to be a YouTuber. So, like, you can kind of think of that. Those social norms that are built up, they exist whether you like them or not, and a college degree to some form gets you looked at simply because you have a college degree. Yeah. So, like... If something like gaming is your passion or whatever, like, me telling you to go to college, I'm not telling y'all, like, I'm just saying, like, in general, like, me saying go to college, like, while you're still trying to make things happen, like, I don't know, man, like, it's a social norm, you might not like it, but, like, mm-hmm. you, sometimes you gotta play the game, you know what I mean? I don't like it when people hold degrees over your head. Like, Cole and I went to college for one year, we both went to art school, and we had this one teacher, and she would dangle her degrees over our heads, and not just Cole and I, but the entire class. But she was legitimately one of the dumbest and most ignorant people I've ever met in my entire life. And that kind of pisses, that pissed me off. So, like, I get what you're saying. Like, you don't want to be that, have that high in my attitude. But a lot of people do as well. well so, like, no. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, so, like, the social norms exist. And, like, college is certainly, I, I think it defines a piece of you, but it does not define all of you. But there are some people that genuinely believe that, like, a, the college degree makes them. And it justifies their entire worldview. Mm-hmm. But, like, here, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little philosophical. So, like, what I'm saying is, like, don't, don't just go to college because you feel like you have to. Like, uh, I, in full transparency, I think Casey Neistat said this in one of his videos. But, like, if you're passionate about something that, like, you learn tradi- – like, you can't be a doctor, like, freelance. You can't just do that on the own. You have to go to school to be a doctor. It's like, if you want to study something that they're tradi- – like, you – it's structured and you have to – like, it's a normalized way, like, a path that has to do a degree. Want to be a doctor? Want to be a dentist? Whatever. Go be – go do that. Go do it through school. But, like, stuff that is a lot more soft skill, like something creative or something – like, I have a business degree, but that certainly doesn't make me good at business. You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't mean that if I open my own business tomorrow, I'm automatically going to be successful. Some things you can't teach. No, exactly. Like, so yeah, don't go to college just because you feel like you have to. You know what I'm saying? In the words of I would Silly say, Ogre, college is a scam. What, uh, what I say, like, <laughs> silly, what my, like, main advice is, like, for, like, now this is from my perspective. You know, right. I understand I went to college for a year, did not complete it, didn't want to go back, didn't go back. Um, whatever you want to do, and it took me a long time to figure out what I really want to do. Like, it always on paper was like, YouTube sounds awesome, but, like, I was never prepared to put in the amount of work that I have to do, like, and I'm not saying, like, oh, I work so hard, but, like, it's more work than I wanted to put in at the time. So when I first wanted to become a YouTuber, I was like, that sounds great. Who doesn't want to sit there and make videos? And that's what they want to do. But, like, I was not putting in the, like, amount of work I need to, and I just, I wasn't taking it seriously enough. Um, But, like, whatever you want to do, whether it be you want to be a doctor or you want to be a YouTuber, do whatever you're going to do, but do it right. Do it smart. Don't, and I say that, like, I worked full time for two years before I finally stepped away from my job because I was able to. I, I was doing YouTube on top of doing full time. And I'm not saying like, oh, I worked so hard, this and that. But like, I knew that I couldn't make enough money starting off. So you can't do that. So don't be an idiot. Yeah. 
if you want to do something, if you want to be a doctor, you have to get a degree. You yeah. can't expect to get become a doctor without doing that. So it would be illegal. Do it <laughs> yeah. right, yeah, right? It would be very illegal. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to become a content creator, put in the work, do it right, but get a job in the meantime. If you don't want to be in school, well, go get an entry level job. Go get a job that, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, totally it's agree. a matter of like, if you want to do something, just be smart. Don't, don't sit there and be like, I'm dropping out of school. I'm buying all the equipment to become a content creator, and I'm going straight away. I'm going full time like into it. Terrible. Like that. See, it's, it's the, the worst idea. idea. Plan B. See, B. That's what I think a lot of people think whenever they see like, if I'm like, oh, I'm doing YouTube and streaming full time. I think that's what people think about it. A lot of times is that that's a really bad. Like, you took a right. huge risk and stuff, and it's like that's not what I did though. And I wasn't just like, oh, let's try this out. It happened well, to work out for me. That's like applicable in a lot of other ways too. Like not only is it like content creation, like anything, it doesn't matter what it is. Like I, another thing that I've aspired to be, if I can't do YouTube, I also want to be a marketer. Marketing does not mean I have to go to school. Right. A portfolio alone in marketing is really good. You want to be a programmer, build a portfolio. You can go to school for it. You can do seminars, do whatever you want to do. Or build a program and sell that program. Build a program, <laughs> yeah, sell easy. the program. Yeah. You can do anything when it comes to programming. You do not have to have school. I'm not saying don't go to school. It's really good to have that school, but it is not like I said, a necessity. It is smart. helpful. Right. If you can do it on your own, then do it on your own. If you need to go to school, then go to school. Yeah, exactly. it, it falls down to each per- the person, yeah. like what, what they want to do. And I think it's very interesting because you went for business, and I am in school for film. So it's very interesting because that's something that most people wouldn't consider something you need to go to school for. I'm envious, though. Well, so like, so <laughs> so here's the thing. So I want to – so I feel like – conversations aren't interesting if everybody just agrees and nods their head, right? <laughs> so I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Um, there's a commenter on somebody's, one of y'all's videos. I don't know who's... I, probably you know, mine. So, if it's so something I, negative, so, 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 so here's the thing. So I think it was when... It, yeah, it was when one of your real talk videos and a commenter said... That sounds about right. And they might have written it sarcastically. I'm going to pretend they were writing it in all seriousness and if it was you, keep it to yourself. I don't care. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they said... That was about me. I wrote that. I'm yeah, so they, they specifically wrote the phrase... Prox is an example of you don't have to go to college all you have to do is get good at video games or get good at anything and the money will come and I want to respond to that because like so love it or hate it a college degree like again this is me being devil's advocate so don't think I'm attacking anyone but love it or hate it a college degree is your foot in the door in most places and like it is a like something to fall back on and if you assume like I don't I don't care if it's a, like golf or soccer or whatever or video games or painting or whatever just being good at something does not always mean it does not always constitute a paycheck so like you have to swallow the very very bitter pill that sometimes you could be great at something and it still doesn't pay the bills and you still got to work a day job so to speak and, and like I it absolutely drives me crazy when somebody beli- like college is a scam they this yeah college can totally be a scam if you allow it to be but like uh, no you you have to go and do whatever you're gonna do Cole said it sort of I, I would agree like basically the way you said it I'd say it a little different like not only like so if you're gonna do something you have to do it right but you also have to be prepared to fail and like, if you just decide tomorrow that you're gonna be a content creator, you buy yourself a nice micro- microphone, you buy yourself a nice computer, you buy yourself an Xbox, that in no way constitutes a paycheck. And all of a sudden, because yeah, you spent eight hours editing anything. a video, doesn't always mean the video is good, and it doesn't mean the video deserves views. True. So hard work doesn't like means you deserve or you've earned all this respect. And like when people have that mentality that. College is a scam. I'm just going to do what I want and the money will eventually come. Like, no, that's a broken way to view the world. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying that everybody has to go to everybody has to go to college, but to belittle the work that people have done and have gone and gotten degrees, I think is a, is a bit unfair. No, and and actually another thing in a similar way, what you just said, like you can't feel entitled because just because you got something doesn't mean shit. I can go get a degree in I don't know, something off the top, fix something random. Marketing. And I could be terrible at that job. And so I could get into the workforce yeah. and just get fired because I'm awful at it. So just because I have a degree doesn't mean... No, yeah, totally. See, and it's, no. the same, it's the same thing, right? Like, you can have all the equipment, but you can't... It doesn't guarantee anything. Yeah. And you go ahead, Tyler. I was watching... Uh, there's this show with Daniel Radcliffe. It's called A Young Doctor's Notebook and Diaries or something like that. It's Daniel Radcliffe. And the thing is, he graduated top of his class, medical school, to be a doctor. And then he gets sent out to the middle of nowhere. This is like in the 1920s or something like that. He gets sent out to the middle of nowhere to go just be a doctor because the last one died. So they designated this guy to go out there. He goes out there and he goes, well, I know everything by book, but people are walking in here with 
you know, they're just upset and there's nothing to do. And I, I have no skills against this. Like, he, had, he didn't learn how to deal with somebody crying because, you know, they just got diagnosed with something horrible. And also, he doesn't have the experience to, say, reset a shoulder properly. He just read about it, you know? Right. I mean, sometimes, obviously, they do have testing for, like, that. Uh, it's, it's, it's a, a broad example. But. It's a little bit of a different example, but, like, uh, I always say, like, you can't teach creativity. Like, for me, like, I'm a, like, I'm a fairly creative person, um, so I know how to do Photoshop. I know you use Photoshop very well. So I have an image in my head of something I want to make, and I can make it via Photoshop. I can teach somebody to use all the mechanics of the Photoshop. I can teach them what every single little... You can't give them the image. They, but you can, but they, right, they might not be able to conceive something original, a design. They might not be able... That doesn't mean they're going to be a graphic designer. That's not... They might not be good at making prints because they they might be able to do it if you told them, if you draw if something you, out for yeah. them, they could recreate it. You give them an illustrator the, the or something. The technical right. ability yeah, doesn't make you good at it. But you can't right. teach that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So, so right. Music, you can play guitar, but it doesn't mean you're going to make the next big hit. And doesn't mean you, you might be able to yeah. only be able to play songs you've heard before. You can't you can't write, you yeah. know? So, right. But let's get confrontational, though. I want, like, oh, cool, so let's, let's draw blood. So y'all didn't go to college and y'all are amazing. Yeah, you it. suck. Yeah, no, like, no, tell me why, though. <laughs> tell me why college is a scam, and I'll tell you why college is not a scam. Like, again, this is devil's advocate. Oh, yeah, bring it on. I don't have anything because, honestly, the biggest regret my entire life was the day that I walked into business school and decided to change my major to art and that was the roughest day of my life you know so. like my thing is man it's like business school is is funny like having graduated I'm really happy with my degree I'm really happy with like the, the path I'm on I guess it's a pretentious way to say it but, like that being said like there's so much soft skills in business and what I mean by soft skills is like you can learn that like the proper like inventory management ideology but like when it comes down to like putting pen to paper like I, there's just there, the only real way to learn business is experience you know what I mean and like I feel like that's with a lot of degrees you know what I mean like you can design a bridge in like a program for like engineering but then like all of a sudden somebody tells you to design a bridge and like I don't know like it just having something be in the real world and not be out of a textbook like it's it's culture shock that I'm not looking forward to because having just graduated a couple of days ago mm-hmm. like yesterday but, but uh <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it's just like it, it just kind of goes into like yeah don't ha- have having on us, Jesse. no 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 I'm just saying like having the sheet of paper doesn't make me good at the thing that I'm supposed to be good you at can learn and that's what I'm you sort of up, but you're not yeah, that's, what I'm saying. Yeah. that's I think I, I just think that's something that's really hard for people to to internalize that there's no like like so I, I want to like I want to write one day that's one of my like my pipe dreams I guess Aww. but like I, so I read a bunch of interviews and like I read a bunch and like of tips on how to write well and the thing is you can't learn how to do that in a book. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You can learn maybe like the three act structure for writing like a screenplay or something, but that doesn't make you all of a sudden like. So knowing the technical skills or having the degree doesn't automate automatically make you good at something. And for a lot of people, they go to college, they get this sheet of paper, but they didn't pick something they were passionate about, or they just simply weren't good at it. So they faked it. You know, they faked it till they made it or whatever, and they lack those technical skills. So they come away saying college is a scam. Like. In, in, in institutional, oh, I, didn't learn, I didn't learn a damn thing. Yeah, yeah, institutional education is like it requires a part of you, and you have to give part of yourself to it. And like, so college can be a scam if you just sit in class and expect to absorb it by putting your head on the. But like, then there's you know. also like the person-to-person aspect. So like, how does this person learn? You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, well, you can't. Right, it's hard to teach. Like, if I was trying to teach 700 people like how to juggle. I'm not like it would be more effective if I could take them one on one and try to teach like them. how we learn to juggle, <laughs> right? But you know what I'm saying? Like it, 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 it everybody learns differently, mm-hmm. and so like we can get into the education very, system. I'm a world, very but... kinetic learner. I need to you know see it physically be done in front of me. You can't like give me, just describe it to me. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. I want to yeah. see it. This, like, yeah, this is agree. sort of a segue. Like I remember, it's like I tried to teach a bunch of people how to juggle, and like the way like oh I, can you juggle? Yeah, yeah. I me, can too. So, so me and Cole nice. can juggle. So we both can you juggle? Only four. Only four. four. I can only do three. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we woke up one morning. Cole, like we, you know, he spent the night at my house one night, and like you know, when you're a certain age, you hang out with somebody. You don't have an itinerary. Like your only job is to hang out with each other. Oh yeah. You know what I'm talking I do about? It all the time. So like, cool. So me and Cole woke up one morning, and it was like ten, and we're like, we're never up this early on the weekend. What do we do? And I had a bunch of baseballs at the house, and we just, yeah. I don't even I think don't... we talked about it. I think we just like both grabbed three baseballs and like, like. Like process, just like we were walk, and like a process, just walked out in the front yard and started learning how to juggle. And I've tried to describe that to so many people, and I've never taught anyone to juggle. I've tried really hard. Yeah, and it the was way- actually a pretty nuts thing. And I went home. And my dad's like, my dad used to like juggle a lot. He had a routine with his brother, and they were like, oh, that's cool. this whole like, cool acting. And I like, walked out. I was like, yo, dad, I learned how to juggle today, because he taught, tried to teach me how to juggle, and he couldn't. Yeah. 
And so, like, I just, we just, I don't know, we just woke up and we were able to do it. So, I have this theory. I have this theory. The reason I brought this up, I have this huge theory. Oh, boy. Juggling is, so, like, it's a weird technical aspect of, like, spatial and uh, hand-eye coordination and stuff. Like, I think that that's something that you just have to learn how to do on your own. You can be taught, you can be shown, but it has to click in your head in a very individual way yep. and it freaks me out that me and you we clicked at like the exact same moment like it's, so I agree it's, it's what I talk about whenever I tell people that want to improve in a competitive sense that there's a turning point that happens to everybody at some point when all of a sudden they start understanding exactly why they're yeah. standing where they're standing why the people yep. are spawning where they're spawning mm-hmm. it all makes sense at one moment and it's amazing yep. because at a certain point you're just like I have awareness for me, I understand for me it. that click that happened for me a competitor happened at the very end of Black Ops 2 it like, happened, yeah. Click, it happened in Black boom, Ops 2. got it. Yeah. And then I was like, every game from then. All of us had Black Ops 2 clicks. Yeah. Like, just in the middle I just of that got game, it. I was like, like, I get what... Because, like, I was, like, learning. I was trying to learn about setups. And I was like, why am I doing this and this and this? Like, what is the... And then it just makes sense at no, a certain point. Yeah. What's crazy to me is I'll go back and I'll watch some film from, like, a recording, right? And I'll look and see what I'm doing. And I, I'm and usually whenever I go back and watch my own film, I'm watching it without the audio. I'm just listening to the music and stuff. And I see myself make this move... Uh, I'm like, why the fuck did I just do that? This just seems so illogical. And I went into the thing, into like, and I started listening to it, and I got a call out that there was another person coming from the same same angle that I was looking at. So I was positioning myself to set up for a nade trap. And then I looked at that, and then I looked at where I had positioned myself, and I had positioned myself to cut off the spawns of the t- their teammates that were already dead. I had done all this in one swoop, and I was like, holy shit. That was actually fucking genius what I just did, and the thing is, it just it just went on like I was playing, and and that's just a whole thing that people don't understand. Like Cole's video that he just uploaded recently, some HDS highlights, his very first clip in there, I put a comment to his video that said a whole lot of people won't understand why that kid just got shit on, and a lot of people were like, because it was a nice day trap. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. Cole's sitting here. I'll actually, well, we don't I'll, want to explain plays. It's just too hard to visualize. But yeah, yeah no. it, it's hard to it's hard yeah, to visualize. Yeah, I got you. Moral it's, story. Yes. Yeah, I think it's very interesting that you like mentioned that, and I really like that you brought up juggling as a thing because I didn't learn that way at all. It's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, it's, it's, way. I learned it with scars. Like I had like little oh, they, scars they or slowly. bandanas. They fall slowly, so I could watch like the patterns that they make and understand where to put my hands. Well, you're gonna have to before you leave. We're, you're trying to teach me how to juggle four things. <laughs> okay. I want to know. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So real quick though, devil's advocate, I have a reverse thing. I want to play the devil's advocate on people that are looking into, like, what I do with a college degree. I've had multiple people comment on my videos in the past suggesting that I am a fool for doing what I'm doing. And they're telling me that I need to get a real job and go get a degree. So what are you responding to? So so I'm playing the devil's advocate that they believe... That uh, what you do is easier. Or hard? Yeah. Take or on take on the persona of the commenter. Well, let me take on them. I I can be a jerk. I'll be your jerk. Well, like, um, I, I don't think they fully... Uh, give like they don't understand the amount of like what actually goes into. There is dumb luck involved. There's absolutely dumb luck involved. I think some people have just had good ideas on YouTube and it works. Like uh, recently, I've been seeing this one guy. He keeps on making these videos and it's like how every chain smoker chain smoker song is written. And it's just this dude who's keyboard. That's funny. Yeah. I actually don't find him funny at all. I think he laughs at himself way too much. And That's I'm just fair. like. Yeah, you're you're pointing out true things. Everything he's saying is true, but I just don't find it funny. Well, do we want to go into pop music? I get and how why pop music is constructed. My, my, I get well, why it's, it's uh, well. That's what it is. It's well. No, it's still like, it. like, like bangers. Like it's enjoyable, but it's still like no. I don't want to go into that. So so point. So rewind, rewind, rewind. Yeah, he, he's mid point here. Rewind. That's my point is like, there. there's dumb luck. That guy was just like, and it blew up, and he's been doing it. And he's got a hundred thousand subscribers sure, in less than a month. Sure, go ahead. Good for him. So good for him. Right, right. Fine. You had a great idea. I'm not hating on him. I just don't think it's very funny. That's fair. But um. So, yeah, YouTube does have dumb luck involved. Some channels do just, they just blow up. But a lot of people put a lot of work into what they're doing. So, like, for me, example, a lot of people will think that what I'm doing is just a stupid thing. I just sit here and play video games and I don't have to, like, work. And they have this idea that you don't put in any work because you're not doing what I'm doing or anything, uh, mm-hmm. which I hate. Because it's the what was me attitude. Or, no, but it's well. like, I think, like, you could be a brilliant lawyer, but you might have a hard time working at McDonald's because sometimes things just don't click with you. Yeah. And so people on paper would be like, the lawyer has a harder job, but what if you are working at McDonald's? You might personally find that to be more difficult. Only Sith Super stealing absolutes. Yeah. Everything is relative. Yeah, yep. exactly. Uh, no, yep. everything is relative. So <laughs> I, I said... <laughs> so, His hands just went up in the air. Like, he's so excited <laughs> right <now. laughs> hey, hey. I can clarify, I am not saying the average McDonald's employee has a harder job than a lawyer. I'm just saying it's different for per- person by person. Mm-hmm. So some people work harder than oh, others. It all comes down Manual to like labor, perspective. But like, like, like is uniquely different. No, but yeah, but everybody, like everybody, almost everybody, 90, 98% of people that work manual labor jobs are always like, I work harder than everybody else. That's what they think. 
And 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 on the flip side of that, ninety nine percent of people who have degrees are like, I they right. work harder than the people who do. But like they're like, oh, there's people in the office. Those sitting up there in offices, they don't work hard. They're in AC all day. But it's like that might be challenging to them. Yeah. They might be working hard. Some people have sure it works for them. They just get it and it's easy work. And that's the same way with you know some people are built for that and they just do it and it's easy. Yep. And so it's all relative. It's the point. So with YouTube, people see me playing Halo. They see me being pretty good at the game. And I'm able to talk and make just this content. They're just like, oh, that's, you know, I worked hard. I went to school. I did this, this, this. Like, what, what they don't understand. So I've been playing this game for over 10 years. I have been developing every Halo, aspect of my game for Halo 10 years. Halo 5 has been out for 10 years? No, I think Halo, it's like Halo. first-person shooters. In I've been general. developing I've been developing, my, developing my shot, my mechanics, everything. That's I've been you. practicing. I've been that's working hard doing that. I've been staying up late when I shouldn't be doing that. Um, I, for as far as videos go, I've been making videos for regularly since I was a kid. Jesse and I used to make all sorts of videos for fun. Let's not talk about those. We're, but my point is, like, we literally we had a we had a like little uh, camcorder thing that had like, little tapes in it, and we made videos with never having any intention of anybody ever watching them. They're we funny made them, now for all the wrong reasons. We made them because we liked making videos, and we learned a lot of things along the way. Um, so, and then on YouTube, my journey on YouTube started in 2010. So for seven years, I've been on YouTube making videos. That's fair. Only now, in the last two months, have I been able to just do this full time. So what people don't see is the work that goes into it. They think that, oh, you just start making videos and like streaming and all that. Like I've been streaming for four years and y- it takes time. I've pra- I've, I have improved. I have put in hours of work. And, and I'm saying like, I, I had a full time job. I worked as a graphic and web designer. And then I, I, I got done with that. I, I didn't need that job anymore because I was able to finally do what I really wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of people look at it like, Oh, you have this easy job that just you just get to sit there and play video games, but like they don't think about what I did to. And I'm not, I. There are people that have worked a lot harder than me, so I'm yeah. just an example because I know my own experiences. But like, yeah. there's a lot more that goes into it than it's, it shows on paper. You weren't, you weren't there for the grind, man. That's right. Yeah, like, every, well, well, and that's everything the thing that grind. nobody wants to hear. When, when you hear you can play video games for a living, that people are like, that's that's awesome. Who doesn't want to do that? They don't know or they don't want to hear the fact that it took me seven years to get there. Or yeah, that's that's a huge thing that's coming to like it's fruition, especially the last two years. Because, like, streaming existed for a long time, but really in the last two years, like, streaming has really been, like, we yeah. can make something of ourselves. I don't think anyone who has – anyone who has never streamed and, like, expects the same person to be on stream every time does not realize how exhausting a single stream is. Like, it is yeah. – Exhausting. It's like people if you, think it's if you, just. If you stream sorry. on Twitch now and you've never streamed before and the very first stream that you have, you have a donation button, just to stop. You're doing it for the wrong reason. Yeah, like you, you have to, you have, you, you had to have the love for what you do, and when it comes to something like that. Yeah, but the other thing is, like, people think that streaming is like, oh, you're just playing video games, but everybody can watch you. It's not like that. It's not. not. If, like that. if me playing Halo was the same thing as me streaming Halo, then it would be easy. But it really is not. Well, the thing it's is, like, I can't because I'm sitting here like. Full disclaimer: I'm kind of a dick sometimes online. I'm a dick a lot of times online. Like, I'll, and in real life. Angel. No, but off camera, <laughs> no, like off camera, I have I'm carefree. I'm I'm not talking anywhere near as much. People like I'm not upbeat. I'm like, yeah, that you are a lot. Yeah, you're, you're right. just kind of chilling. Like you'll right. see me. I won't say a word for like two whole games of just yeah. playing. And I might be meleeing somebody's body and bagging them because they annoyed me. They might have literally just annoyed. They might have shot me one time when I had a sniper out and scoped me, and I get pissy about it, so I bag them. Not because I genuinely dislike that guy, but that's just because you know it helps me like get e- rid of anger. Example: This morning, Tyler and I were playing a little BTB. We none of us were streaming. None of us were recording. We're hanging. Oh, we were recording, but we, we were, were recording. Oh, but no, we had so the recording. We this decided one, not to make this it. This one guy on the other team gets in a banshee. He ends up getting forty-six kills Damn. total. Banshee pro. Forty-two were with the banshee. Banshee pro. Oh my lord. And Tyler and I did not say a single nice word about homeboy in the banshee. No, that's fair. I will not release his gamertag. I know it by heart. Now. <laughs> if I ever see him, I bag him. It's <laughs> irrelevant. Like we said, all sorts. He of never just, did anything. He didn't he sit there. Shoot pissed my body. me off. You know what made it worse? At the end of the game, <laughs> turns out, turns out he's a fan of mine. Sends me a message. Send GG, me. man. Love your content. Yeah, he sent me a GG. I, a said, and I, was like, I said, I'm not going to lie. That Banshee shit is straight annoying, but good game. <laughs> and he said, uh, lol, I know. And like, and so like it was fine, but like... Does that make it better? I chased him and bagged him so much once he finally got killed out of that Banshee because he went 25-0 and in the Banshee at first. And I was like, okay. Once he got out of it, I just <laughs> okay. chased him down 24-7. I got Sniper. If I had Sniper, he dies first. So That was I'm, my goal. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to try to shoehorn this back to... So what I'm what saying Cole is, like, if I were about. streaming... and So so think about, think about it. Just in, one example. If I'm streaming and I'm getting killed by a Banshee for 16 minutes straight, I am not allowed to just be like, I can't sit there and back guy. that guy. I can't. 
No. I could be I like, oh, that guy's be... going off with that banshee, and I'm just sitting here internally screaming at this guy, wanting to punch him in I the face. I have to be like, man, I'm just, I'm just getting really unlucky right now. This is really unfortunate. This guy is doing so well you with that, that banshee. That's a command. <laughs> Screams internally. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, that's a good one. Yeah, it's so yeah. I don't know. So the moral of the story is that I feel like a lot of people, like, it's different types of like ways you have to put in. And now, not everybody's the same. It took me seven years. It's easier for some people. But also, nothing's guaranteed. Like Jesse was saying, you, you are entitled to nothing. You can try. You can literally make the best video on YouTube. Like some of the Halo pros are getting pissy that they're not pulling viewers. Yes, but yeah. that's a, that's yeah. all personality driven. That's a hundred percent personality. No, driven. that's they have that entitled. Like I'm not going to name exactly the pro, but one person at one point, and I, I actually really pissed me off to read it. And I want to say something. He was like, he he literally was like, it, it's it's ridiculous that I'm a pro and I'm pulling like a fourth of some of the views for some of these guys who aren't even that good or whatever. And, uh, and it's like, you are, you don't mean shit. It's so cutthroat. Somebody asked me mm -hmm. the other day, what's harder, YouTube or Twitch? And I said, neither. They're both, like, it's so yeah, difficult. They're, they're both, like, just completely different. They're completely it's... different, and it's so cutthroat. You, you, you are entitled to nothing. If there was a formula of, like, do this, this, and this, and you get X amount of subscribers, then it'd be a different game. And, of course, everybody would have high amount of subscribers because it'd be an on-paper way to do it. Yeah. But there's nothing guaranteed. You can put in as much hours of effort as you want. And, like, I got... Everybody knows this, and I tell the story a lot because it was a huge slap in the face to me, and I really realized I woke up a little bit. I had about 3,000 subscribers. I worked for six months on a montage. I edited all myself and all that. I, I hunted for clips, did it all on my main account to make a point that smurfing is unnecessary and I can still montage, damn it. And I did it. I right. did it too. I did it right there with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So six months, I edited it. I think I put like total like 18 hours in the edit or whatever. I uploaded the video, and then it did pretty well. The next day, I uploaded a commentary that I made in 10 minutes, and that video did like three times as well. And then I realized that about hours of effort and the amount of like effort you put into something does not equal shit. You don't deserve, you don't earn views through, it, you do it because you like it, because you're not going to get, like, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, you can't, you can't sit there and just be like, what is the biggest banger I can come yeah. up with right now? There it's, are people who do that, but I promise you, when's the last time you saw a thousand degree knife? But I, I have not seen one in weeks. Like, yeah, I, I don't care. I haven't seen one since we made that joke about it. Yeah, it's been yeah. months. Yeah. Um, like... Okay, so like my reading the highlight videos, right? I enjoy those. I, I put a lot of effort into those videos. Those are my favorite videos you put up. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Aside, aside from the really funny, just random things. We yeah. Do. No, yeah. Like, I, I love your, yeah, yeah, perfect. I, I, I and, love everything. Just... And they, you know, I put a lot of work in them, and they don't, they don't even pull views that just a normal gameplay does. And I'm sitting here like scratching my head like, how? that This is all just banger shit. And then, yeah. you know, and then nobody, like not as many people watch it. And then like, I'll, one day it was Cole Tyler Justin and I, and we were just sitting in the lobby, and I was like, dang, dude, I need to make a video. I guess I'm just going to record us warming up and upload that, how I warm up as a video, and that shit gets like over 2,000 views. And I'm sitting here like, you make no sense sometimes, you do. <laughs> so you make wanna, no sense. I don't want to speak for nobody clicking on no videos, but I know that like in content that I'm interested in, whether it be Halo or outside of Halo, I people love seeing behind the curtain. So, like, literally, if you say, this is how my feet are placed when I play, like, people want to know, because, like, especially, it's just, first of all, I think, <laughs> I, think no, I only for, have no, the for, interesting for, one. I think he has the interesting one, but for PC gamers, it's actually a big fucking deal. No, yeah. I'm saying, so, uh, like, don't me on say PC. That. My leg is up here, I rest my left arm on my knee. Nobody can see. Just like this. Nobody in the podcast. <laughs> no, I said, I rest my left <laughs> arm on my knee, that's why I said it. It looks beautiful. <laughs> this is how I play PC yeah. games, my left arm is literally, I like, walked in uh, on him one day, it is, when he was living back at his, uh apartment with his dad and he was playing Counter-Strike like that and I walked in I walked in I walked out and closed the door behind me I walked back in I was like you're still doing it okay that's not a joke <laughs> <laughs> yeah no I sit like that when I play PC games I don't know why it's the most comfortable way but like to go back to what Caitlin was talking about I because I know except exclusively to you because we met like two hours ago but like I know all of you outside of like your videos and stuff and like it's really, it's almost, it's almost fun to be honest to see you roll into like how you have to be on a stream because I've played with y'all off stream before. Well, and, I mean, like, you know me. We've grown up together. Like we since, know each other. Okay, so you I guess. know. My point is like you know when I'm on stream. Like I, I, I yeah, you're. Different I can tell. Person. I literally walked into y'all's house one day. I, I just came in. I didn't tell anybody I was coming. I just, I just walked in the door. Dallas was sitting in the living room, and I without any like I, I sat down and said, "Cole streaming." Because I could hear your voice and I knew the cadence was different than mm -hmm. how you are, like, are conversationally. Sure. And I could just tell you were streaming. And like, I don't know, man. When I played with you on that 24-hour 24 24 live stream, and this has come from somebody, I don't play, like I'm not competitive. I'm not, like I don't I don't grind when I play. I just play. Just being, just having other people, it freaked me out. It was exhausting. I had to go to bed. Dude, dude. <laughs> no, no, I I it was like 2 a.m. And Jesse's like, 
I don't think it can be here anymore. No, 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 I, I gotta okay. go. I, gotta, I, I literally because it just because there's just like it's a different mindset when you're playing. I don't want to say for an audience, but for an audience. You know no, what I'm no, saying? it 100 percent is for an audience. Anybody I don't know. that you know. Yeah. It, it, no, but think about it, this for a second. present needs to have that respectable attitude. Think about no, this for a second. Uh, just just think about this for a second. Like people that like just for the people that still believe that it's not work or whatever. You think about doing a 24 hour live stream. Fine. You think think about doing anything. Pick anything. Do it for 24 hours straight, and then tell me that's not work. People. I, I did the 24 hour live stream because I've always wanted to. One, I had this internal like I've always wanted to. Yeah. I knew it would be beneficial for my stream. It was insanely beneficial and it was work for me i was like i know if i do this i don't want to do it if i could opt like i, I want to be done and say like i've done a 24 hour live stream i didn't want to have to go through 24 hours of sitting there and playing a game that i get very frustrated with halo 5 does not keep my attention that long um and i played it for 22 and a half hours of it i played an hour and a half of halo 3 campaign but like like so t like i knew it would be beneficial i got over 500 i got over 500 followers that stream i made over 300 dollars donations i it was a very successful stream i knew it would be it was like, work. Like that was that's a, that's work. You can't even another, watch TV for twenty. No, like, yeah. I've, no, I watched Game of Thrones. I've watched Game of Thrones for like eight hours one time. And you got and I gotta stop. I was like, <laughs> I have to stop. It wasn't that I the past three episodes from five from five to eight. Those episodes were a chore, but I needed to see them. My I could not like get my mind off of it. I did not want to sit there and keep watching, but I had to. Yeah. Like, I, like and there's the whole aspect that people overlook as well that streaming is a very emotional job. On top of being, you know, something that, that can be tedious, even if you might not look at it like that from the outside, like and the, how, how the chat is, right? It's more difficult, I would say, for smaller streamers. You know, I'm not calling your like your your stream is smaller in the spectrum of like Summit or like no, you of know, course, yeah, it is something like that. And for them, it's easier. The, their chat's easier to manage, I think, when you're bigger because it's just so many people, and yeah, what they're yeah, saying no, doesn't yeah. fucking you matter. Have, you don't have a right? personal. When you have when you have a chat that. of like 200 people, and the chat's not really moving that fast, and you actually have time to basically read every chat that goes through, somebody being negative can get on your fucking nerves. And people, whenever you type something in the chat, the tone that you might be trying to, to present with that chat. It's not the tone that comes through because you're you're typing with text. So it's, like, it's text. You're not speaking to him. So like you could you could be like saying something and you could be saying something and you could be in like the good intentions by it, but it just sounds like an asshole thing, right? And then I know you do it because I do it too when I stream. When I read something and I don't like it, I don't feel like getting into it with them. I won't respond to them, but you're still thinking about it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and, and then and, and you and your whole time you're just like don't let it bother you, don't let it bother you, don't let it bother it's, you. It's yeah. bad. See, it's it, bad. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like. I can you cannot get bothered by anything in game either. Like you're also playing a game where people are frustrating you. You're mm -hmm. not just being frustrated by a stream. You're being frustrated by people. Like the other day, you uh, Cole was streaming and I was playing with him. It was me, you, and I believe Clay. And I was just getting really frustrated. Like, and I was actually doing really well in, in internalizing all of it. I was not letting any of it go. And then randomly, I was like. I feel like I'm about to break. And then I was like, I got to get off. I got off. I literally had to go pick up something. And to relieve anger, I threw it at a pillow as hard as I could. It bounced up, hit the roof, and I went, all right. And I went out in the living room watched Family Guy to chill. I, I didn't. Like, let, the last stream that I had on Twitch, I ended it wrong. I was playing, and some dude, some dude had said, wow, Big Texas, you had a rough one that game. I didn't know you were starting to suck at this game. <laughs> and I was like, you know, me and so I was like, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know I wasn't allowed to have a bad game. You know, if you don't like my ga gameplay, then go fucking watch some other streamers, loser. <laughs> and then, like, that's what I said, like, basically said to the guy. Like, I don't remember exactly what I said, but he goes, wow, you're a dick. And I said, I guess I am. <laughs> like, I, like, lost it. I lost it. And that's actually one of the reasons I stopped streaming. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think it's, well, real quick, I want to conclude my overall point, which I was trying to say is that uh, I feel like, I'll, and I, I, not, not necessarily feel like, I've had people comment this to me. Where they say that they feel like I'm dumb or something, or I've gotten I have it easy because they have taken the time to put in the work to get their college degree and on all that. And I just all I'm saying is like, just because that somebody's playing video games, it doesn't mean that they haven't put in work to get there. That's all I'm trying to say, and that's what the alternate perspective I'm trying to provide is like. Some people really do work to get places. Some people just make it. Other people grind to get there. And if you do it smart, I don't like getting called an idiot when people are like, somebody was generally this is why everybody thinks you're a failure. And I was like. Well, do you have a? Did you get a college degree in that opinion? What do you mean? <laughs> did, like, did that? Does all that viewpoint? Do you have a college degree for that viewpoint? No, I don't. Then no. it doesn't matter. I have, no no I have zero. And, and are you a failure? I have zero credibility. Are I you mean, a if you, but no, 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 he already answered that because he doesn't have then a degree. We're good. No, we're good. Two degrees. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> oh, so I don't want to go down this road. I just want to say I want to point out you. You mentioned the guy who I don't want to name drop. So people who uh, make like a viral video, like it just gets shared, whatever for 
likes, whatever. It just gets shared randomly. They didn't necessarily have to put a lot of effort into it. It got accidental, whatever. Our culture, our society, capital S society, values viral videos to a point where you can turn a viral video into a sustainable income. Because you mm-hmm. can be, like, I think the, the official position is like an influencer. So yep. you can make an accidental viral post on Instagram, a viral video on like Instagram, something like that. And then all of a sudden you're getting ad money thrown on you just because people are like, hey, post... Post a picture with to your eighty thousand followers because and wear my T-shirt and I'll give you this money. That's a like a that's a position. Yeah. Like that's why Vine got so big is because those seven they were so digestible, they were so viral, mm-hmm. like it was so. Those hoverboard I, thing. I remember I, the hoverboard thing advertised super hard on Vine. For me, I don't know, man. Like this might make me like pretentious or whatever, but like I, it's just, it's frustrating to me to know that our society goes out of its way to monetarily value people who get lucky and i'm not saying that we should we should try to like change that but it's just how do you i don't know it's just a weird dichotomy it's like a dichotomy like there's people like y'all who, who who grind and you get there but you grind and it's a struggle and it takes forever and it's it's blood sweat and tears and then somebody literally just by accident uploads a video like it's the that video where the guy jumps in the cactus because he knows it's a viral video. I hate that. I hate where you know that you can exploit this one loophole in human like, like processing. I hate that. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's I, like the I, uh, damn Daniel kids. Like they got so much cool shit. And but, but for them though, they, 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 funny, they though. legitimately didn't know that shit was gonna blow up like that. That was just like a that was like a friend thing. Yeah, that, that, I it think was, it's cool. Like, it's literally a high school inside exactly. joke it's, that it's turned a, into a national inside joke. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I think virality is cool. Don't get me wrong. Like I, I like the the clickability and shareability but, and but stuff like that. But the cactus guy literally did it just because he wanted to be internet famous. That's We're talking about him right now, so he wins. No, no, he super wins. And like, don't get me wrong. Like I'm like. I am the only non-content creator at the table, so I automatically lose. So should be content creator. Should I be. don't want to go into that right now. Should be. I, I have an idea. I, we'll go there later. I, okay. I, have, I have an idea. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't say that on here. Wait, that's yeah. your idea. Guys, I would, they don't know like the proximity. Let's like call. Come back, Cole. We missed no, you. No, wait. Hey, Cole's gone, so we're going to talk about Cole. So this one thing that I've always, okay. like... This is juicy. I don't know. Do, <laughs> I like we, this. do we really... Can I really make fun of him? Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Look, man, so he played soccer when he was growing up, right? And he came over to my house one time, and I don't know what happened. He came over to my house, left, oh, normal good. weekend. I promise you, for like the next three weeks, my room smelled so bad. It no, smelled no, like how the, would you describe the, that? Smell? The inside. I don't know. I don't know. It's a graphic, man. I can't. Go for it. It smelled. I just the worst. If somebody threw up in a sweaty pair of cleats and put them Ooh. in the oven, that's what it smelled oh, like. The I, oven. Oh, oh, it was so bad. And I thought I was like, my mom came in. She was like, "You need to clean your room." I was like, "I don't know what it is, mom." <laughs> I promise you, I, I I laid on the floor sometimes. So I laid on the floor and I looked under my bed and Cole left a pair of socks under my bed. And it, I t- t- from soccer. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I threw the, I threw those away, <laughs> and I promise you, my room smelled instantly better. So yeah, that's my so negative story about Cole. Is Cole has stinky socks. Really smelly. No, feet. really, Cole really does have smelly feet. He, has, some, he has a lot of insecurities and likes to put me down and make me feel better about himself. <laughs> well, and Cole we got has smelly feet, and I hurt on the inside. So. <laughs> <laughs> now is he editing this thing? Are you editing this? No, yeah. that's going in. No, no, oh, beautiful. It, it, Good. I was going to say. I was going to say that better. That's stay. how it works. No, yeah. I don't want that. Yeah, I would like to. Out of it. I would like to address an elephant in the room. Kaylin, I want mm-hmm. more personality. YouTube. Oh, okay. Okay, bring like it on. Just, just bring speak, it on. I'm sure this is something. I, we haven't I mean, spoken that much right about now, it, and I can like, let you know your energy that you brought to this podcast yeah. is going to make people like you. Oh, so thanks. like the thing like, is, that being like, said, they're going to like your personality. Plus, you already stream good amount, so start putting personality stuff on your YouTube. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, love I haven't. I have least montages. I people are waiting on them, but you know, yeah. we, we kind of need. We kind of need you know the little snack. Let's go through the Halo Four campaign together. That would be meme and fun. That would be. Meme more than fun, but yeah. Like even you just yes. being in that snipers video with me, like that was like so much fun. Oh yeah, I'll do that. That was, that was good, uh, but those are those are your videos. Those aren't mine. I, I mean, like... yeah, but your personality was great for those, and I would like to see more of it. I would like to see what well, you do by yourself. Like, what do you? Who is Zuby? Oh okay. Um, well, I mean, I, I it's not that I haven't tried. I've released stuff on there, but this kind of harkens back to our very first second ish topic. That's like not what I'm known for. So like, like yeah. But I mean, you. Oh, can I can I quote you? Yeah. You legitimately used the phrase "I am pigeonholed." Yep. And I I noted that because first of all, pigeonhole is a great that's a great turn of phrase. Thanks. But that being said, like I I reject the fact on principle that like it's pigeonholed is not permanent. So mm-hmm. to use two p. And also, it's kind of unfair for us to really project that 
No, it's, it's, you. no it, it is because it's something that we're used to and it's something that you aren't. I mean, it's so like, it's like it's like somebody who's been playing golf their whole life, like trying to teach you how to play golf. And you're like, oh wow, you you suck. Like yeah, on yeah, your yeah. first swing, you're like, no, yeah, it's, it's not. It's not that. It's not that. Like I don't think it's unfair or anything. It just statistically speaking, stuff like that that I released does not do as well. Well, I mean, same for Cole. Whenever Cole was talking about his transition between yeah, you, tips you, and yeah, you gotta, you he, gotta stick to it. it, it that, that you have a personality. Like I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying, like, I mean, I'm putting I, it on the table though. Like I, I, I'm I'll, just trying to say. Even Childish I'll Gambino consider. rejects his first mix, mixtape. It's true. It's true, yeah. he does. That's a good reference too, by the way. Gambino's yeah, great. Yeah, no um, but uh, no, I, I mean, I get what you guys are saying. I think that okay, may, this might be, and you guys feel free to just dog me with it, whatever you feel. Because I want to hear truth opinions about this. Okay. I feel like the game that I play doesn't respect that sort of content as much. The way that I play That's the game because, that I play. Doesn't. Okay, can I say like, yeah, like go right. ahead. Oh, so let me say, whenever um, now, modern Halo YouTube, you 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 have that personality. It's true. I agree with that. Previous to two people I credit this test to, and this is genuine honesty. Holbaum. So so Holbaum agreed. He did it great. Matthias Holbaum, is great. I love Matthias. He, he moves to Australia for a year at the beginning of Halo 5. He disappears. There is now nobody. The two people that stepped up were myself. Well, he came back recently. He came back recently, but he literally was gone for it's like true. a year. It's true. He was. The two people that stepped up were myself and Nick, Uber Nick. Agreed. Both of us, he's over 20,000, and I'm, 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 I, I agree. I'm, I agree. I'm working toward 20,000. So my point is that uh, now it is more of a standard because that, and like, there are a couple other people that have done personality things, but the people who are like really strongly doing that off the rip with face cams and all mm-hmm. we're Nick and myself agreed and um yeah so yeah. I think no w- your market at the time was just basically like Halo YouTube and the day it was, it was montage skill. it was, it was just skill that was yeah. all people was wanted, they wanted something to excite I'm sure 99% of people who tune into like Campy Stream now had no idea what he looked like before he started they also didn't know he was such a chill dude because yeah like, he's just, such an awesome guy like he you hop into a stream and you can sit there you, he's not even talking to you and you can end up sitting there for hours yeah like, you could just be sitting there watching him, and you're like, this guy's just so chill. Um, like, yeah, that's true. Like, uh, Trunks, for example. I got to play with oh, Trunks. Oh, Jeff, yeah. Yeah, I got to play with Jeff for the oh, first Jeff. time uh, a couple weeks ago, and the most I'd ever watched the stream was for, like, 40, 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize how awesome of a guy he Jeff, was. Jeff is I, I most and, think... and then I was playing with him, and I was like, wow, Dude, okay. Dude, hilarious. I think that Dude, most people don't realize... We, we had a connection, because because we were sitting there, we were sitting there playing, and we were, we were playing Plaza... We were playing Plaza and Strongholds, and he goes, man, this pissed me off. I just want to go play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I just started dying. Dude, I think people don't realize that Jeff or Trunks, however you want to call him, like, he is responsible for, like, 99% of the slangage that gets used in this community. Like, people don't really realize dude, that. Dude, he he's ma- so him, so him and Eli together make up, like, Dude, 90%, I'm sorry. 90% of the yeah. phrases that people use commonly. Dude, you're back. They start with those two in like little private it's calls. It's so funny. Dude. Like I remember when he, I was in the, I, I happened to be lucky when he uh, came up with the uh, later phrase. Oh my God, that was great. Like we went into a stream and we just started, uh, we started donating under the phrase uh later and like it was, it was great. But yeah, he, point is, yes, he has personality and stuff like that. Um, I also know Jeff from montaging days mm-hmm. so it's kind of weird to see him be one of the ones who makes that transition but he also doesn't really do much on youtube anymore mm-hmm. well he doesn't yeah do. he's mostly a twitch streamer and i agree with everything didn't you guys are saying i don't you know i don't know about that too much about the history of jeff but didn't he get like partnered and then stop streaming for like a month or so um, he got partnered and then he kept got getting hit offline when he was playing he, yeah. he got hit offline and then f so he, the big like appeal to his stream was fa and FFA just mm-hmm. that too. It's been the same thing, and it's not fun. And you also couldn't find a game when he stopped. Right, no, right. And true. so, and then he started streaming uh, more H one Z one stuff, which of course isn't as popular as Halo stream. No, though he's really but good. He's at good at it. Yeah, yeah he's, he's really, really good at it. And like people do watch it. He's just not as popular. Yeah. So he really got a shit out of his dick, honestly. Yeah, it's true. Because his uh, his FFA streams were yeah, super lit. That is, I yeah, loved his FFA streams. I sat in there for hours. I did too. Because he was like he's the no- he was the number one player. Dude's a god, and he's just super nice guy. Just funny. Yeah. Played him five to once. <laughs> Five them once. Well, is that, there you go. I like, think that's like confirmation the... that Dallas is 100 percent better player. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, but to I mean, get back... that's what half the community believes. I'm not trying, yeah. to, get... I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to get on that subject. To, to get back to your point, Tyler, I, I I will consider trying. I just think that like it's I wouldn't say I would say it's a little different for me and what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to make. Not yeah. saying I shouldn't, but I I cannot tell you how many times when I stream like I'll be playing. Let's just go with MCC because I don't want to get into OGHV right now. Let's say I'm playing MCC, 
and I'm playing snipers. And first of all, I just want to say I play on tags that are not my name because the Halo 3 community is so small that people will know oh, yeah. it's me and then they either quit out or they teabag in place, which ruins clips. So, yeah. boom. <laughs> I was uh, playing Halo 3 on the 360 the other day mm-hmm. at my friend's house and one of my friends, my friend uh, Shaw, who got me in, into right. uh, Halo, he... Uh, we were, we were playing Social Slayer on the 360, mm-hmm. and there was like 80 people playing Social right. Slayer. That was it. And like we paired up with this guy. He goes, that guy, if you kill him, bag him. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it's that tight knit. Yeah, it, it's, it's crazy. crazy. So like, yeah, so that's, that's cool, first though. of all. Yeah, so like, I, uh, the people who like Montage and Halo 3, we all kind of know who our names are. And when someone new has a new tag, we figure it out really quickly. But um, I can't tell you how many times when I'm streaming, like it'll be a Snipers game, 4v4, two people on the other team quit out. I immediately quit out every single time, which is most people. I get so much slack for that. Like, why don't you just play it out? It's a guaranteed win. But I don't play for wins. Yeah, I play for the moment, and you can't have the moment against two players. That's. I mean, it's a valid point. I mean, for me, like, yeah. so it's Do funny. What you enjoy doing. It's really cool to see to hear Cole like tell his story, like how he got into like Halo, really, like, really competitively, because he references this story of watching, like, downloading Campy's montage. Is that right? And uh, watching it a bunch. I was at. I was in. Like, I was with him that whole weekend. But I just wasn't participating in the montage. Like, I don't know. I wasn't in, as much as into Halo as he was. And so, you know, he got good at the game. And I did not get good at the game. <laughs> but I also, like, had pipe dreams of being a montage. So every time I played Halo, it wasn't to win. It was just I'm trying to world star people. And yep. I'm just not good. So, so that's exactly fun, like dude. I could not care less. In BTB, people will get mad because I won't pull a flag. I'm sitting there, like, with a sniper, like, I don't know what you want from me, but I'm going over there because they're spawning over there, and I want to get in there. So yeah, bye. My favorite thing <laughs> yeah. in the world is trying to montage BTB. You play the whole map. You do pretty well. You don't get a good clip. But at the end of it, you end up dropping 56 kills, and you end up being on a losing team. And the people on the other team who were pissed that you were killing them so much go, they're like, yeah, you did 12, but you still lost. Or, ha, we still beat you. And I'm like... I don't give a fuck. If you had actually asked the, me if you'd beat me, I couldn't tell you if you had, dude. Like I don't yeah. know. Hold, hold was the, the story red right at the end? Uh, what, dude, one time, yeah, this one time I was playing forever ago, and uh, apparently, so we were playing BTB. Tyler and I playing together, clip hunting. One point, this guy on guillotine jumps out with rockets at me, chokes two rockets, and I four shot him. So I shot his body because fuck that guy, and he got right. shit on. Okay, <laughs> so this, I was a much, I was, I was a much smaller YouTuber at the time. Fair. And uh, he knew who I was though. And he took the time to go into theater mode, upload the video. He was running with a squad of eight, and he does like he did a like commentary over it, and he explained how they did what they did to win that game of big team strongholds, and they won 150 to He was talking shit because we lost. I don't care. I wasn't there to play to win. Right. And dude, it was so funny. The, my favorite part. It gets to the part where I shot his body, and he goes, and he goes right here. Uh, I missed up a rocket in proximity, killed me, and then he shot my body, even though nobody knew who he was before Halo Five, and then just like <laughs> carried on throughout the. It was the funniest thing ever, That's and like he had like his all his little buddies like constantly going on my videos and like shit talking to me like, why didn't you upload the game where we beat you? And then like is that what like made that? Because you made a video where it was like, why don't I upload losing gameplay? So that, that was like, oh well, that's, that was recent. Cool. There was like, a lot of people. Was that yeah, a real was, talk yeah. video? Yeah. What makes me yeah. mad is I look. I know you pretty well. I know the majority of your opinions. I watch like. I try to watch as many of your videos as I can, but I watch every minute of your real talk videos, and the whole time I was like, I've heard him say this all before, but I just I still watch it for some reason. It just sucks. Having, me in. having been in this house with him, like I see it. I'm like, okay, the real talk video is his way of like just getting the stress. That I he feels love my out. real talk series because yeah. of that. Yeah, it's I, great. I can just be like, this is yes. what I'm thinking. I've literally like legitimately been in a Skype call with you. We've had this long conversation, and I'm like, oh, that's a knife conversation with a friend. And the next, like a couple days later, I'll see like a real talk video, and it's the same thing. And I'll basically just listen to the his side of the entire conversation just over again the real talk series friend of the curious like besides something like this is the closest you're gonna get to just like how i am like in like as a friend in person mm-hmm. like that's just me like yeah i'm yeah. relaxed i'm not trying I, to put on a face for it that's just me talking i want to i don't know how like this is something a question that i can't answer i don't know how much y'all want to go into it but like it's really interesting to compare who you are you on and off camera I would say nobody's fake. No, like none of y'all are fake by any no, means. I'm not but as like, happy as I appear to be. I'm you know, definitely toned down. I'm not as chipper. I, yeah, I enjoy like what like when I watch uh, one of Tyler's videos. I, I don't know. I just I feel so much like I feel like I'm hanging out with Tyler. It freaks me out how like casually I feel like you can roll into your. I don't want to call it a persona, but like I if you you roll into it so casually. I don't know. I I enjoy See, your. Mine, mine are. Mine I enjoy yours the most. Like because I'm a very. I'm a wavering person. At one second, I could not be talking at all. And within five minutes, I'm talking with like screaming, doing a bunch of stupid voices for no reason just because I'm having fun. And then the next game, I'm dead quiet again. 
And I like my, my videos are actually like that. Like the series I've been doing, which is uh, learning how to clip hunt in Super Fiesta, you can look at like two of those. Two of those, I'm screaming. I do a thousand different voices for no reason. I'm imitating other people's voices for no reason at all. And then other videos, I'm like, oh well, I didn't quite get the triple there. Next time, next time, I'm gonna get that triple and go into an over. And then I just keep going. And that's like just who I am. And the there's time. also the I don't try to fake it. That talks about fucking people's moms. Yeah. I do talk about having sex with a lot of mothers and sisters. like Fuck and your sisters. <laughs> And sisters. Sisters and mothers. I fucked your sister. Well, Clay no, started no, wait, with well, the sisters. Well, I fucked your sister. So. Yeah, I, that's one thing I noticed. Your sister's too. ugly, and I still fucked her. Dude, that's are. my favorite thing ever. <laughs> that's my favorite one. Because when, when you invited me to play for your video, we were playing, and I and like I totally had the impression because like I don't do like the kind of content you guys do like on a normal basis. So I was like, I don't know what's gonna happen. They invited me to play with them for this, so let's play. And like you said, all right, I'm gonna press record. You know, don't talk and do an intro. And Dallas and I talk because we're assholes. Um, so <laughs> I still, when they say that they're recording a video, I literally am. If you're trying to do something to camera, I guarantee we'll mess it up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so bad. So at it was so interesting because I was like, okay, we're gonna play a game. He's gonna end it, and we're gonna uh, he's gonna upload it. We ended up playing like ten games or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we were together. just playing, and I was like, okay, I, was, I, I didn't know what point like the video was going on. Yeah, no, you don't I was know, like, okay, yeah. all right. Let's I don't play. like. I don't want my videos <laughs> okay, cool. to be me sitting there yeah, putting on something for right. somebody else. I try to be like. I want at least part of me. Like maybe, maybe I'm picking and selecting the best expressions that I have to upload. But it's still me. That's also it's right. not a fake me. It's still me. It may not be me all the time, but that is me. I'm a spazzy weirdo, and that's it. Well, like, that's, <laughs> see, that's that's the thing. You're like that's great. And that's that's cool, and it's true, and it's honest. But at the same time, that means a lot of people, if they don't like you, oh yeah. So you make you like me. It makes you a lot less approachable. Away. I would say. I, for and sure. I get that. I don't know. I guess yeah. I'm coming at it from the perspective of like since. I don't produce content like it's I only know you in like a casual sense or that's how I knew you all first or whatever like it's really weird to be playing a game that I know you're recording and I can tell when you're saying something to me versus when you're saying something for the video oh yeah like Dallas when we're playing like I know what things to respond to and what not to respond to if that makes sense because I know I know the point of it like I can I can tell but with Tyler it's harder for me to tell so playing with you while you're recording is more stressful than playing the rest of people yeah. I'll say that <laughs> also when you're on I can't hang like, when we were doing that perfect challenge or whatever, I literally got one and lost it. I was like, I got a perfect. And Tyler was like, got one. There's another one. There's another one. Mm, that was close. There's another one. And I'm just like, I got four, and I was pretty happy with myself. And he's just rolling them off. Yeah, like, you're like 22. It's crazy. Like, I'm nice. not calling Tyler, like, the best. I'm just saying, y'all are all good. It's just every now and then, Tyler. I have a record. Want to fight? Yeah, well, my new series <laughs> it, hey, at YouTube.com forward slash corpsick is going to break. Your world yeah, record, we'll see, won't we? I hope Hell. so. I really, I watched that whole video, hoping like, man, I hope he does it, dude. Like, did you see the beginning? I yeah. got four perfects, yeah. and then like, you literally said this is a good start, and for some reason, I could tell. I was like, well, it doesn't end good. Then, <laughs> yeah, no, we got it's we got only six minutes long. Oh, something's wrong here. Yeah. <laughs> if I did it in six minutes, I would scream and just run around. Like, I don't, I wouldn't know what to do. Yeah. Um. So, it has been an hour and thirty six minutes. Damn. We have officially gone longer than episode one. I didn't think it was gonna happen. Um. We didn't even get to all the. We, unquote, should, we had one more topic. We can save that. It's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's a good so one we can have. So let's have conclusive points. If anybody wants to make any, let's wrap this thing up. Well, if episode two is anything like the prequels, then this one's gonna suck. So you know, the third one's better. So stay tuned. I think this is gonna be a really strong act two. This isn't gonna be a trilogy though. This is Empire then. Yeah. This is Empire. Is Empire not a Dark Knight. Oh my God! Don't reference it. How we need. You. We need to like <laughs> stop <laughs> talking about Star Wars you? so much. How Sir, Rogue One old. sucked. Uh, any other oh, things boy. that people want to talk about? Luke's <laughs> gonna be a bad guy. <laughs> or keep going. You gotta <laughs> shut me up. <laughs> conclusive statements here. From anybody. Does anyone want to go? Um, I'm just gonna do a bit of self promotion. But uh, Kalen should self promote and also. Cool. Uh, give us more reasons why he's self-promoting, such as more content, personality risk. All right, all right. In my opinion, that, that's a good thing. I want to hear hear, hear what the commenters say, like yeah, based yeah, yeah, on yeah. this, because oh yeah, we got to leave him with like a yeah. What's the bottle cap monkey thing? We got to leave him with another one of those. Oh yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Uh, okay, first of all, real quick, a lot oh, of guys did a good, good job. One. A lot of guys did a good job with the bottle cap monkey. Some of you guys did the opposite of you. Some of you guys <laughs> suck. <laughs> like, hey somebody, guys, love you, bottle cap monkey. Somebody that's exactly what we said dude. not to do. What you, somebody was like, love this, hashtag bottle cap monkey. I'm not that, clever, bottle cap monkey. Yeah, <laughs> like, said that. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, that's so unclever, it's genius. Like, if you, yeah, so yeah, if you really genius. can't think of one, copy somebody's. Just like a perfect don't copy. be honest. Come care. on, man. We're trying to see who actually listens to the end, all right? <laughs> don't feel obvious. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Oh my god, it's almost an hour and 40 minutes. My render times are going to be unreal. So let's... Uh, <laughs> Pop filter chandelier. Pop 
Pop filter. Pop Easy. filter. Chandelier. Boom. Pop filter. There's a pop filter right here. There's a chandelier above the table. Yeah, Easy like wins. I hate all the reverb coming off of my ceiling, so I bought a pop filter. Pop filter chandelier. That would not that solve not the reverb thing. problem. Okay, well you like <laughs> we're not going there. We had this already. <laughs> anyway, earlier. pop filter chandelier. We pop, got yeah, it. All right. Got it. Any conclusive statements, Dallas? Uh, Halo Five's getting there better, but three four three needs to needs need need needs to need, <laughs> just just gotta do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been the worst closing it, statement it's I've ever heard. Better, Dallas. <laughs> That that so bad. Bad. If you're a lawyer, like, like, hey, this was just a regular on, like, traffic, man, traffic game. Yeah, we're gonna execute your guy. Come on, man. No, like, <sighs> in closing statements, I mean, there's the, we went over a lot of stuff that I, I can't really give a general closing statement. So I'm gonna say the easiest thing on my head, and that's I'm glad we had well, Kaylin yeah. here for the Thanks. podcast. That is awesome. Thanks. I enjoyed your company, and having your opinions, yeah. and all that good stuff. <laughs> Shut up, Tyler. You're next, Tyler. I had to move. Okay, you're next. Fine. You, had to move. you have to give your closing statement. Um, and I'm going to pass on the closing statement to Tyler, who's doing stretches. Uh, well, uh, regardless of yeah. anything we said about 343, I would like to say that I do actually enjoy 343 games. I would like to see a little bit more, you know, initiative out of them. And, uh, yeah, love Kalen. Yeah, no, thanks. You guys are so nice. Closing statement, I love you guys. Um, thanks for having me here. I truly appreciate it. And I hope to be back for many more depending on if people like me or not. So we'll see how that goes, because as a Halo 3 guy, I don't always get the most love from me. <laughs> yeah, people. no, fuck Halo 3. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but that thank you guys very much. He's like a uh, self-entitled uh, asshole. Is yeah, that guy a douche? Is he a Halo 3 elitist? <laughs> there you uh, go, perfect. Sorry. So thank yeah. you all, and th- thank you for introducing me to Jesse, because we just met, and we're already best friends, so it's nice. Yeah, hey, like they I finished. said, 30 minutes. Don't know what happened. It was yeah. great. It's a great 30 minutes. <laughs> I feel like most people get along with Jesse pretty well when they meet him, and I definitely feel the same about you. So and also, thanks. some people really don't. Well, it, for him, they get along with him. He does not get along with them. What makes some me mad, Jesse? Like can I can I tell you real quick before we end this podcast? This is important. I want to I want to I want to level with you about a conversation we had the other day. And okay. You can so take what? this. You can take this offensively. Or you can be like, that makes Ooh, sense. Offensive. Kind of scary. Okay. The Ooh, other day, it's the other day, saucy. Listen, listen, the other day, we were talking about some stuff, and basically, we concluded that you, you as a person, look like. If you if you launched the Me Creator app and just kept the default person, <laughs> you're the most. <laughs> <laughs> you're the... I'm fucked. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I feel like I feel like you're the most normal looking I have to white Google guy this right now. He's the most. Oh, man. Jesse's oh, the most no. normal. He's the most normal looking white guy ever. That's just what I was thinking. Like if you think of like a, a basic. You're an unattractive like, Jeremy Renner. <laughs> oh come on, man! I, do think, I, you I did say that. I said I've always felt Jeremy Renner is like a more attractive Jesse. More attractive, not like an Hollywood unattractive. attractive version of you. Never yes. been called Hawkeye before. Yeah, I didn't say you were Hawkeye. Yeah, he's a useless Avenger, but he's an Avenger. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me see. Holy shit! I said why. I, I said Kaylin, for Kaylin pulled up the uh, default of uh, me. And you know what makes me mad is if I if I got out oh my, my Wii. God. That's what I made, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I know. That's a, you don't have to do anything. You have the easiest, no matter what character you yeah. create, you're just like, so that, boom, no, My point is, like, you're, you're average height. You're like the average standard. You're just, you're just like, you are a normal looking guy. That's but, why. But this thing we talked about here is way above average. Yeah, that thing is, I appreciate that. That thing is like, appreciate that. I don't, yeah, it's not meant to be an insult. Like, so you could take that as an insult, but I don't mean it that way. We were just like, you know, Jesse is a normal looking guy. All right. Um, <laughs> you got a good statement? Uh... <laughs> Don't, don't try to be all smart for no reason. Just I don't, I don't like, it. look, man, being put on the spot. Yeah, graduated 2017. Uh, if you Woo, if you didn't nice. go to college, if you're planning on not going to college, you, you can't be successful. Um, in fact, I think oh. you shouldn't be successful, and I hate everyone who says college is a scam, and I hate everyone in general. Okay, great. Uh, great. Um, okay. Lastly, I want to conclude with thank you guys for listening to uh, the podcast episode two, the Jabroni cast episode two, uh, pop, pop filter chandelier. Right, let's uh, elaborate that. I uh, thank you guys seriously for the support on the first episode, and I hope we have a good support on this episode as well. Because I know that's something that we all want to do for a very long time, and I know that's something that we really enjoy. And I like, I know, uh, it, I love making podcasts. And it's yeah, I've always if wanted. we did not enjoy this, it wouldn't be an hour and forty minutes. Right, I, and I, so, wouldn't, I wouldn't drive an hour and forty minutes. Like, right, basically yeah, they're, so. they're just getting a front row seat to the conversations that we have in the parking lots tonight. We went that's to all this is. We literally had to stop our conversations in the parking. Yeah, we were in Barberitos. Yeah. We were yeah. in Barberitos, and like I would like one of us would bring up a point, and somebody else would be like, "Hey, cut it out. We got to record it later." <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was so great. yeah, I've always wanted to have an active podcast, and everybody else has, and I'm happy to see that it's you know it's got some it support. So thank good. you, guys. thank you for you know putting us on yeah, the panel. Thanks, Cole. Yeah, yeah, no. like, you know, well, it no, means no, nothing no, if nobody no, listens to it. Well, yeah. No, mm-hmm. well, thank you, people. You know, what I'm saying. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, thank yeah, you, people. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Guys, whenever it is live on iTunes. 
download it. Should be the, it should be this episode. I'm planning on uploading the first one and the second one. So like I have to just I have to go through and do it. So well, you're gonna upload to YouTube first. Just oh, so people I, can I see gonna, it's it. gonna be on yeah. YouTube as well. No, 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 it's gonna be on, available on. Well, YouTube I don't know how long the podcast iTunes tip process takes I, it's, it's 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 a lot of work so it's, it's just a, a matter lot, of yeah. like i need to set time to do it um but i plan to do it for sure That's because then a lot of people want that and i'll absolutely nobody nobody that. likes to hear this but like if you understand the inside baseball like how itunes podcasts work like you it works only if people like subscribe and leave comments or whatever. So, like, that's a big deal to go on iTunes when you subscribe to the podcast and just comment that you enjoy the podcast. Nobody likes hearing it. I'm just saying that's a big deal. So, if if and when we can this promote goes that live, later on, but this yeah, is going to be continually a biweekly thing. Um, yeah, looking forward to doing more. So yeah, this is fun. I don't actually hate everyone, by the way. I just yeah, we know that. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I do hurt on the inside. You're a very loving guy. Where's, all right. where's Troy? All I need oh. to hear about Troy the first time he touched another man. Where is he? Ooh, that's Troy, a good topic Troy, for Troy, Troy's at work. podcast. <laughs> yeah. 